I have, I have a uh, little bowl of grapes and a soda. Because negative one plus one is zero, right? So if you eat something unhealthy and then eat something healthy, it's like I never ate anything. Right? That's how that works. We'll pretend. <laughs> <laughs> you should eat a banana? I actually had a banana for breakfast. I love bananas. Bananas, grapes, apples, peaches, oranges. I just love all fruit. There's not a fruit I've tried that I've not liked. Durian? I've never had durian. So, I don't know if I like it or not. I've heard durian does not taste bad. It's just very stinky. Is that considered cannibalism? Alright. We got jokes here. Can we talk about how much of a good game Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door was? Like, I know I, know, I, know I only played it this year. That's like one of my favorite games. It's very good. Anyway, hi everyone. Hope you're having a good day. I am. It feels great outside. The weather is almost perfect. It's like 65 outside right now. Fahrenheit, of course. It's like, ugh. I walked out I walked out there in a t-shirt and shorts. It was ugh, it was perfect. I hate I hate summer. Summer is ass. It's it's too hot. East Coast summer. Like like mid East Coast, it's humid. It's gross, it's sticky, it's hot. I fucking hate it. Yeah, my at least where I live in North Carolina, winter is by far my favorite season. I have a feeling when I move to uh, Washington State, I'll probably not enjoy that much. But do you have Bojangles in North Carolina? Hell yeah, we do. Dude, people don't know there's an out on with Bojangles. Let me tell you. Bojangles is like so good. It's actually like, oh, I want a bowberry biscuit right now. Just thinking about it. Heck. I'm hungry. All right. Anyways, um, today uh we're gonna be taking a pause from our regular scheduled programming. Um, Outer Wilds is getting DLC like Tuesday, <laughs> and I forgot about it. So we're gonna play that. <laughs> instead because i really like this game and i'm really excited for the doc and i'm just like you know what i might as well replay this game i haven't replayed it in like two years i played it on epic the day it came out not the day like the month it came out and i have it on steam now so i might as well oh that's loud let's turn down the volume just a smidge um actually it might be okay Adventure. Yeah, this is the definition of an adventure. I love this game a lot. I think it does a lot of things right. Yeah, awa awa. What is a bowberry biscuit? <laughs> you wouldn't get it. If you know, you know. Let's so make sure our new game. So what's this game about, you may ask, if you know nothing about it? Um, you're, you are an astronaut. You're an alien. And you are doing one of you are going to explore your small little galaxy i get this game confused with outer worlds all the time yeah you and everybody else uh the way i remember it 
and I said this in the Discord earlier, but like, I mean, I just, I, 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 I play, I've played both of those games, so like, I just know the difference. But I remember Outer Wilds. It, it's like it, the whole aesthetic, at least on uh, Timber Hearth, which is the starting planet. It's kind of like national park themed. Like you have like all like the, like the iron on patches and everything too. It, like it's definitely a vibe. And I just I just correlate the word wild wild with that sort of like theming that this game goes for. We're awake. All right. Okay, we're getting some frame drops, and I'm not exactly sure why. I noticed that immediately. Why? Why is that? Why do we have frame drops? Let's try turning some stuff down. I don't think I've never really had problems with it. Is it because it's full screen? Maybe. Let's maybe not run in full screen. No, it's still it's still kind of poopy. Why is that? Why is it poopy? Convince Americans talking about the weird fast food things. I mean, it's just it's just food, dude. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, how how do you want me to explain it? It's a biscuit. You have Google. Okay, why okay, why is that though? Why is it not um I feel like my computer is gaslighting me cuz like it would be like, "Oh, you can run everything on like super high," which is true. I can. But maybe not streaming. Let's turn uh, shadow quality down. That's usually a pretty big offender. Ocean quality. Ocean quality. All right, how's this? 60? 60. Let's go, baby. All right, let's go back to full screen then. Still 60? 60. Yay. Time for marshmallows. Yeah, let's get a marshmallow. How do you, uh... Dude, I could... What do you mean, blah? It's good! You fucked it up? I did not fuck it up. Chat, you wanna know how I eat my marshmallows? I burn them until they are fucking piece of coal. And then I peel off. Okay, my my, my the protagonist of this game is just incredibly picky. The main the main character doesn't like any marsh. Uh, the main character doesn't like marshmallows. Sixty or eight sixty. I'll turn down one more thing. Let's turn down um just so I want to make sure it's stable and not like well sometimes you have sexy frame sixty frames. Sexy frames. We'll turn down the FOV a smidge too. Okay, that's fine. Anyway, this game's um soundtrack is also just fantastic. This game has a lot of things right. I can't think of anything this game like does wrong, honestly. Dude, okay, you just can't do it then. Uh, let's turn down the music just just a little bit though. Perfect. There's our pilot back from your pre-launch camp out under the stars. I see. So it's launch day, huh? Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program, and suddenly here you are, leaving on your first solo voyage. What do you say? Ready to get this beauty off the ground? It's all fueled up and ready to go. Yeah, let's go. Glad you're excited, but remember, if you wreck the ship, I'm not building a new one. It's made of lightweight re-entry re grade aluminum alloys, you know. Of course. And you get the launch codes from Hornfels at the observatory before you can lift off. Just bring those here once you're once you say your goodbyes or whatever. So this game is literally just about exploring and solving one big mystery, and it's very cool. I remember playing this game for the first time when it came out, and I was like... I feel like I went into a coma, and then it came out on the other side, and I had beaten the game. Hey, it's you! Slate said to be blasting off on the ship today. I'm really excited to see the launch. Aren't you gonna go into space, aren't you? You better not have changed your mind. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. 
You better be. It's been forever since anyone launched into the space. I really, really want to see it. Really bad. You want to try out the model ship? Slate says it's just like the real thing, only less likely to start a fire. Yeah, I eat, do I eat my marshmallows? I burn it to a fucking crisp. And I peel off the charcoal exterior and I eat it. And then I burn it again. And then I repeat that process like three times. Oh, baby, like a glove. <laughs> uh, okay, hold on. I This is important. I need to be able to remember... Um, I need to be able to fly in this game. There we go. Easy. There we go. Look at that. Grade A pilot over here. Look at that. Gay people can't fly? Well, good thing... Um, Good thing I'm straight, then. Alright, we got it. We can fly just fine. So, a, a cool thing about this, this galaxy is that it's very, very small. Like, measured in, like, kilometers small. Like, that is a planet that we can go to. You may, you may be even able to see some things in the orbit of this planet. I'm not sure if it'll pick up on the stream, but you can see stuff. It's like snow leopard size small. Yeah. Sure. We'll, we'll go with that. Yo, I want to go in. Can I go in the funny water fountain? We. Oh, wait. I don't have my equipment yet. <laughs> Oops, I forgot. I, I'm so used to having everything in this game just, like, put on. Okay, well, I died immediately. <laughs> Don't, listen. You gotta get off, you gotta get a death out at some point. I'm so, I'm so used. Okay, well, I beat the game, everybody. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, That's it, really. There's, there's nothing else. I did it, woo! Roll credits. Yay. Wow, just got here. Yeah, I beat it. It was a really quick, actually. They, they didn't even loop you? As, I, there's a reason for that. Stream's done. Smile. It boots you out to the main menu. <laughs> you finished so fast, streamer. Yeah, I've never heard that one before. My five hour Andy. All right, so that didn't happen. We're gonna we're just gonna roll it back immediately. When you post in the world record on the official site, yeah, speedruns.com slash outer wilds. I'm up there. I'm at least I'm think I'm number like four. The the name might be different, but that but that is me. Hey, oh hatchling. I hear you're leaving this. Leaving us to seek adventure among the stars. When you return, let's let's you, me, and got and Gosen open up a bottle of the good stuff. Are you gonna beat Are you gonna beat the game all today? Uh, probably not. Probably I'll. I mean, I do want to take my time and like, you know, figure it out. Is it that short? I mean, if you know if you know what you're doing, you can beat this game in thirty minutes. But the whole the whole the whole uh, like gimmick of this game is that you don't know what you're doing. And it takes, I think, I think the average playthrough of this game is like, any like twelve to fifteen hours, like going at like a very slow pace and not knowing anything beforehand. Pickles the otter. <laughs> oh my God, Morty! They turned the otter into a pickle. Funniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Hello, Pickles the otter. That's very cute. Do you smell like pickles too? Do you have like that like briny smell? Ow! Why'd I get bonked and then pet? What is this re? What is what is this reinforcement? That joke isn't funny. <laughs> I know it's not. That's what makes it funny. <laughs> I think I think the pickle Rick joke has been so unfunny for so long that it's looped back around into being very funny again. At least to me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sure you hear that joke like literally five times a day. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. You're going into the pickling jar. <laughs> oh, not at all. Oh. Sniffles, I'm sorry. But welcome on in. I'm only seeking adventures among one star, really. Other stars are too far away. 
Another metaphor ruined the name of scientific accuracy. Nevertheless, I do hope you enjoy your travels. Good luck. Yeah, we'll need it. Like, I don't know, this game is just, this game is just so cool. Like, there's so many little details in this game. Oh, you can see the thunder? You can actually see the thunderstorm going off. That's so cool. I never even realized that you, you could see, the, you could actually see the thunder from down here. Incredible stuff. How's the volume, by the way? I've been, I've been kind of... I've been kind of screwing around for a little bit to see if uh, we sound okay. Positioning myself intentionally next to this very loud uh, waterfall. Volume is perfect. Awesome. I love that. It's not as bad as it was when the Pickle Rick episode first aired. Oh, simpler times. You know, I don't think I've actually seen... I don't think I've seen more than five minutes of, like, Rick and Morty footage in my life. You're actually blasting off in that thing, huh? Yeah, they really don't explode as often anymore. All I noticed between the space program and Mika's model rockets, things seem to burn to the ground in here more than they used to. Yeah, don't be so don't be so afraid. Outer Wilds Ventures presents postcards from orbit. This projector is linked to our Sky Shutter satellite, which is currently orbiting Timber Hearth. The satellite is equipped with two onboard cameras. See if you can take a snapshot of our village. And now we can actually take pictures of the orbiting satellite. You can even you can even see the satellite zipping around in the air. Fact. There it is, right there. See that? That was a satellite. I caught it just in time. How cool is that? There's a um, there's a documentary about this game, and I can't remember who published it, but it's on YouTube. It's like an hour long. It's a very interesting watch because, like, behind the scenes, like all the programming, technical stuff. The it, the way they got this game to work is like insane. No clip. That sounds right, actually. I think it is no clip. But it this game is like. I don't know how this game exists in the in the state it does. It, this game is like a whole bunch of Legos, like smacked together. You know, okay, you know those videos on YouTube that like clickbait you every time, that are like uh, top ten most amazing Lego builds, and they like do like forbidden Lego strats, and like the shape that they make doesn't seem possible with Legos. That's like this entire game. Like it, it's it's stuff that shouldn't work, but it does somehow. Like, they made, like, a round Lego wheel. This pilot seat, used by pioneering astronaut Feldspar, is all that remains of our inaugural space flight, or flight in space. Although it's been argued such a distinction requires a brave-takingly liberal definition of flight, that day will never, nevertheless always be remembered as a landmark achievement in Harthian history. Very specific rabbit hole? Yes, I mean, yeah, I, I've never been clickbait by Lego YouTube before, huh? That'd be, that'd be, that'd be ridiculous. Haha. Uh also, -huh. oh, you can see your feet in your hand. Your weird, your weird, your weird three finger alien hands. All right, let's get this show on the road. Hey, Marl. So it's launch day, huh? How's gonna miss you? Wait, you have more than three fingers? I have like four. Speaking of launch day, I was thinking about it, and the platform the ship's launch launch room is getting old. Isn't it about time you build a new, less flammable one? That big tree in the village will be a perfect choice. I wouldn't mind helping out the space program. Just say the word. <laughs> like four? Well, I mean, it changes every day. Wait, do you do you have the same amount of fingers every day? Hmm. I think you might be an alien. Th the launch pad is flammable. You didn't realize that? Don't worry, I told him for all these launches so far. It would definitely be fine for yours. Probably. Darius, hello! 
Hello, fellow kitty. Welcome on in. Hello there, Space Cadet. I hear you're leaving the crater today. If you meet any other travelers up there, remind them to take proper care of their instruments, won't you? Just saying hi before I leave. Take care of yourself up in space. Oh, there's the moon. This planet's moon. I just, I, I love how close everything is. You can even see a camp right there that you can go to. Oh, there's a comet as well. Wow. There's a white hole as well. <laughs> and that one rock is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And bigger. Doesn't seem very safe. Um, nothing in this game is safe. Uh, once we, um, get into the main gameplay loop of this game, um... There's a reason why uh, nobody seems to ever come back from these things. Oops. Oops. Also, apparently there's a VR mod for this game. I can't imagine that it's like... I I've never gotten motion sick in my life, but I feel like if there's one thing to do it, it's probably that. Yeah, gut of steel. Like, I'd be afraid. Hello, astronaut. If it is my favorite troublemaker, I hear this all the time. We wanted to play hide and seek, but Moraine won't let us borrow the, sig the signal scope because it's really delicate and not supposed to be thrown around like that. Hey, can we use yours? Can we? Can we please? We'll even let you be it. Sure. We'll play hide and seek. Here are the rules. Galena and me will hide with the radios, and you'll use your signal scope to find us. Last one to be found wins. Okay, close your eyes and start counting. Dude, I was a hide and seek master when I was little. Alright, so where are you? You little rascal. There you are. I see you. So this is simply teaching you how to use a signal scope, because this is how you kind of uh, navigate a lot of things in this game. So it's good that they teach you early. Can I make this jump? The, I will say the platforming in this game, it can feel a little weird. Especially when you get into like zero, zero G sort of stuff. That is so loud. I feel like this game is just so loud. Oh, you found me? My hiding spot was super good. Don't forget, you have to find both of us, okay? Huh. Did not expect that eye closing animation. Yeah, you have four eyes. It's very neat. Where are you? You're up here, right? How do I get up there? How do I get up here? Oh, I think I have to jump off the roof. Anyway, I played this game last night. Well, it was more of a demo, really. But it is a... I'm about to use a lot of buzzwords. It is a roguelike deck builder psychological horror escape room kind of game. It's called Inscription, and I think that might be... That, given what I saw from the demo, that might be one of my favorite games to come out this year. It's called Inscription, but it, it's spelled differently. It's like I-N-S-R-Y. No, like uh, with an I, Inscription. If you, if you look it up on Steam, it should pop up. But it, it's published by uh, Devolver Digital. And it's uh, made by the same team that made Pony Island, if you've ever played that. I won? I'm happy. Thanks for playing with us. Have to sacrifice cards to put on other cards? Yeah, yeah, I might even... I've already played it, but I might just stream the demo at some point, because... It's just super cool. The demo, I think, just recently came out. Um, it, it went off a... Uh, went off a different name called... Sacrifices must be made, and I played it years ago. So when I saw it on Steam, I was like, "Haven't I played this before?" And the answer is yes. But that's the it, now it's like more of a fully fleshed out and completed game, and it comes out like October something. I'm gonna be playing that for sure because it's it's so up my alley. Devolver is so hit or miss with their games. Yeah, they kind of are. I I think their hits are they hit pretty hard usually. 
I, I tend to enjoy their games mostly. There's a lot of cool games coming out. Hi, Satellite. Bye. Lupiro. I, see, I really liked Lupiro. I played the, the hell out of that when it came out. What you doing, kid? Do it again. Do it again. Description is the CCG. Yeah, it's like it's like a deck builder. It's very cool. It, like if you just watch the trailer, like you'll kind of see where all of my all the buzzwords I string together. It makes sense. It seems so cool. I love the aesthetic of that game so much. Hey, Moraine. Huh? Oh, hello, astronaut. This is a good weather for launch, right? That's lucky. Any good sounds from space today? There are. My signal scope is set to Outer Wilds Venture Frequency, so I'm listening to the Traveler's music. Last night I heard Rybeck's banjo coming from Biddle Hollow. I hope that means they're safe. I can hear different planets, too. It depends on what time of the day or night it is, since different planets are in the sky at different times. Signal scopes are cool. So each planet has a uh, traveler on it, and you can hear their music. It also tells you how far away stuff is. Wow, look at that. Don't, doesn't that place look funky? Wow, hope there's nothing creepy in there. You can literally see them in that rocking chair right there. What the f That's crazy. This isn't your first playthrough? No, no, no. Uh, the DLC is coming out in a couple days, and I haven't played this game since... Uh, basically since it came out. Oh, that's, that's the moon orbiting on the other side of the planet. I see. Hi, Oni. Scout launcher. Aim. Fire. Okay, so when you get... Okay. Funny, funny joke. You, I mean, you do have a gun in this game. It's called the Scout Launcher. How's Snap doing today? Uh, Snap's doing just fine. I'm doing good. Getting huge bucks. A guy who's only played bug snacks. I don't think that. I think you're making up a guy. Who 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 said that? South Quantum Grove Crater. Yeah, let's go. Let's go check out the Quantum Grove Crater. Is something preventing you landing back on this planet after you launch, right? No. You can always come back. Hi, astronaut. You know that patch of ghost matter inside this fence? Ghost Hans said it is, used to be bigger when they were hatchling, because ghost matter evaporates. It just takes a... a, 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 a oh, I thought they were stuttering. A super long time to go away. Hope there's still ghost matter in the village when I'm a grown up. Ghost matter is awesome. Yeah, ghost matter is super cool. It'll burn the heck out of you. Yeah, I heard touching it hurts so bad it feels like your hands on fire. Try not to walk in any, try not to walk in into any in space, okay? That sounds bad and painful. So this is ghost matter. Uh, currently, we don't really know anything about it other than that it's uh, bad. And also, it it shows up on photography. Ghosts don't matter. What? Ghosts do matter. Danger. Inside this fence is a pocket of ghost matter, a strange and dangerous substance that's invisible to the naked eyes. The good news is that you can detect ghost matter with the camera. Moving the ghost matter is you moving through ghost matter is uniquely painful and will probably kill you. Don't complain to me if it hurts if you hurt yourself fooling around. So so don't don't touch the uh Don't don't touch the goop. As much as, you know, it's tempting. You shoot a probe? When I get my probe launcher, yeah. You can shoot it inside. Aw. Thank you for pets. Go ghost matter is just like my dandruff. That's all it is. 
Z Zero G Cave. Hey, come say hi to your old your old flight coach before you launch. I've got Zero G training set if you want a refresher. Well, I definitely need it. Hey, I thought I might see you before the big launch. Your dandruff burns? Yes, it's very... Uh, <laughs> yeah, yours doesn't. Nerves getting the better of you? I'm a little nervous. I mean, we're launching into space for the first time. Good. Everyone should be a bit nervous going into space. I got cocky during my first flight and nearly put a new crater in the moon. Oh, you're missing an eye. I never even noticed that. Still, I was never as green as you. Hey, I've gotten better. You think you'd... you think so, do you? Feel like proving it to your old flight coach? There's a satellite, which is definitely not just a piece of broken mining equipment set up down in the Zero-G cave, and in need of repairs. Yeah, yeah. So this is this is just uh, the zero G tutorial. This game does have zero G, and it does control a little funky at first. Look how pretty the walls are, though. So sparkly. Has anyone here actually ever like um, like gone cave exploring in like a tour or anything? I've always wanted to do that, but I've never had the opportunity. It seems like so much fun. Zero G cave. Have it scary? No, no way. It seems fun. Went to a salt mine when I was like eight. Oh my god. Every mine's a salt mine when I'm in there. Yeah, you're getting it, bud. Hey, nice of you to drop down. Give me the dirt. Some fresh dirt? Not much happening down here lately. Let me think. Come to think of it, Tektite was Tektite saw something crash outside the village crater earlier. That's new and different. Is anything on fire? Probably on a little. Tektite checked out the crash site with the old Firewatch Scout launcher and saw smoke, so they headed over to stamp out any leftover fires. Better get back to work. This ore's not gonna mine itself, you know. So something crashed here earlier. That's neat. So the cool thing about the planets in this game being so small is that especially in like smaller areas, you can actually see the curvature of the planet. Like notice that everything's like kind of got like a like a warped like curve curvature to it. It's very cool. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It does make navigating feel a little nauseating at first, especially like I don't experience motion sickness at all. But I've heard that people who do have motion sickness this game is like ucky yucky sometimes especially once it gets down to zero g like right now all right we're here zero g baby been caving was fun yeah you can how do you do that you can you can rotate i don't remember how though Oh, just like, just like this. Ugh. Ugh. All right, so luckily we can lock on to stuff. This game does a pretty good job of letting you like, uh, of at least uh, it does every. This game does everything it can to. Uh, assist you in trying to navigate zero g sections because they are pretty rough sometimes all right so i have to find two more things to repair here there's one also with the lock on the autopilot system it's not that bad imagine this vr i couldn't i i couldn't like i watched someone play through this game in vr recently and i don't know how they did it without like yakking everywhere where's this last piece at aha So we don't actually have to do any of this, but it is a nice tutorial if you've never played it before. I did it! Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Oh god, I have to get out. Yeah, this this is actually I just realized this this is just the middle of uh the planet. It's so cool. Ugh. Also, 
also awful nice of you to help these Dune people. Uh, yeah, they're fine. Nothing doomed about them. All right, well, I'll, I'll, I'll see you when I see you, right, bud? Right, Bob? Whatever your name is. Tommy. Uh, oh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't catch his name. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm sure we'll see him. I'm sure we'll see them all soon. I wouldn't worry about it. All right, you guys ready for like the cool space museum? Hey, I did it, by the way. Nicely done. Of course, it'll be a little more stressful when you're hurling through space, but just remember your training and try not to hit anything big. I can see you're issuing a Godolphus rock, so go, go get the launch codes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going, we're going. I feel like I haven't been to, like, a museum or, like, a, uh... Like it just or like any sort of like anything like that in so long. So this game all chill? No. This game is not all chill at all. This game gets pretty dire at sometimes. It starts off very nice and happy though, doesn't it? Very cozy. Very uh relaxing. No, this game gets uh, pretty intense sometimes. Yeah, well, I mean, I think this game overall, it just has a comfy atmosphere, but the, the deeper you get into it, the more you realize that not everything is necessarily the way it seems. No, I think it does a good job of, like... Oh god, the, the quality I have to turn down is really showing its ass right now. Like, you should be able to read these words, by the way. Outer Wilds Ventures founding members. Clockwise from the le top left, Hornsfeld, Gosan, Slate, and Feldspar. Big thanks to these additional founders. Oh, these are like, uh, these are like, um, uh, Kickstarter backers, I think. Like, top tier, uh, Kickstarter backers. That's sweet. I didn't even realize that. Outer Wilds Ventures. Timber's heart, Timber Heart's first and only space program was founded to explore the farthest reaches of our solar system. Fellas Bar was the first, heart, first Hearthian to be intentionally launched into space. Intentionally? Who's accidentally getting launched into space? They completed the first orbit around Timber Hearth and later made the first of what would be many landings on our moon. Battle Rock. Neat. Hey, it's my favorite astronaut. Launch day at last, huh, buddy? It's the translator tool's inaugural flight, too. I'm so excited to make it's making me nauseous. Just think, you'll be able to translate any no my text you want anywhere you are. The two of us put a lot of hours into inventing that tool, so don't break it, okay? Oh, jeez. Do not break it. Uh, adore me, okay? I'm just nervous, and I'm not even the one going into space. How are you feeling? I don't know. How are you feeling? I'm kind of terrified. I don't let me make you nervous. You've been training for this day since we were hatchlings, remember? You do great, I promise. So what's the dirt? You here to say to know my statue? Yeah. Hornfellas just finished prepping it for display. Amazing, isn't it? Makes me wish we could see a real live know my what a real live know my looks like. But I guess this is as close as we'll ever get. Check it out. Looks like they had fur. Fur is weird. What? And this is the first fully intact statue ever found, you know. And for how old it is, it's in great shape. What a nerd. So this is the Nomai, huh? They're kind of funky looking. Hey, nice statue. Can I, I'm gonna touch it. Put my hands all over it. Spit on it. I'm, I'm the kid at like the museum who wants to like to touch the fucking thousand year old paintings with my gross stinky Cheeto hands. This remarkably intact statue was carved by the Nomai, an ancient species who dwelled in our solar systems thousands of years ago. The statue provides us with most the most detailed look at the Nomai, who appear to have been carved covered with a layer of fur. Note the decorative jewelry that has been carried as that has been carved as part of the antlers. Although there are there, although there are artifacts and structures have been found on almost every planet in the solar system, we still have no idea where the species came from or what happened to them. Yeah, Cheeto beans. 
They got they got some stuff going on. They got like horns. They have like interconnected horns and hair and like fur and stuff. So welcome to the Space Museum. This is this kind of shows off a few of the uh, the cooler mechanics in this game, such as um, being able to see the planet's gravity actually change as we orbit the sun. Isn't that neat? Come on, do it. Do the thing. Do the thing. Come on. I'm betting on this middle one right here. Oh, you can mess with them. Oops. I broke I broke the exhibit. Oh, no. What have I done? Watch closely. These balls move on their own. The ground is perfectly level, so what do you think causes the spooky motion? The answer is the moon. As it orbits our planet, the Adorox gravity pulls on objects from different directions. In fact, it's pulling on you right now. This game must have been a programming nightmare. Yeah, again, like it's 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 incredible how this game even exists. I still don't quite understand it, but this piece of Nomai writing was essential to deciphering their unique language. Although the text is linear, Nomai text often branches off from a central point. Interestingly, each branch tends to be tends to be written by a different author. So we so this is what makes us unique in this game. Many people have like ventured off into space, like canonically. But we're the first one to have a translator, which makes our venture maybe one of the most important ones. So any know my text we find, which does look very cool. The writing system was already is very intriguing to me. It looks like, like, I don't even know how to describe it. We're nearly ready. Felix and I have finished construction, and she says calibrating the device won't take long. Fortunately, the Adel Rock's lack of atmosphere will make calibration simple. After all this time, I'm thrilled to finally resume our research. Yeah, it's like it's like molecules and stuff. It does it's like very polymer like, right? Like carbon bonds and all that stuff. Aside from the dwellings and structures they built, the Nomai also made art. This decorated po pottery was discovered on Brittle Hollow. Some ancient Nomai art depicts strange animals, foreign celestial objects, and other subjects that can't be found in our solar system. Which makes us wonder whether the Nomai originally originated elsewhere in the universe or simply had vibrant imaginations. Were they born in our solar system? Or were they born among the stars and planets? And if they were, how long and why did they come here? Just one of the many questions. So the whole gimmick of this game is you basically discovering more and more about, you know, about this ancient civilization that just seemingly came into our came into our universe and then just poofed. Like magic, almost. What you see here are parts of a Nomai skeleton. You can tell from their skulls that they possess antlers, and quite unusually, only three eyes. Whoa, they only have three eyes. The Nomai body was most likely adapted for living exclusively on land. The differences in the Nomai's anatomy, such as their shockingly fragile bone structure, show us that Harthians couldn't have descended from Nom... Nom... Nomayan... An Nomai? Nomayan? Yeah, Nomayan ancestors. It's not clear where the Nomai originated from, or why they disappeared. We hope to find more clues to this puzzle as we explore our solar system. Yeah, how can you see with only three eyes? You need at least four to, like, be able to tell anything. The Nomai technology brought back from space by our astronauts has, has been a great boon to the Outer Wilds ventures, allowing us to modify expedition gear in exciting and useful ways. For example, the Little Scout now boasts a warp retrieval capability that allows astronauts to recall their scouts almost instantaneously. This has dramatically reduced the number of scouts lost to the depths of space. Thanks, Nomai. They give us warp technology. And it's just telling us that these crystals... I'll read it. Why not? This crystal was taken from a Nomai ruin on Brittle Hollow. It seems to create local gravity distortion. It was most likely used to traverse steep surfaces. Try it out. Shump. Hey, everyone. Ugh. Yuck. Also, there are these fucking things. They're kind of cute, right? They're kind of cute. This anglerfish specimen was found attached to the landing gear of one of our ships that flew close to Dark Bramble. It appears well suited to living in dark places with minimal atmosphere. Yucky. Chomp. Let's try this game. It looks. I don't know why. I don't know why it wouldn't run. It's not running at full sixty.
It's still alive? It does seem that way, doesn't it? Is this game on consoles? Uh, I think. Don't quote me. I actually don't know that for a fact. I think so, though. I think I think it is. I, I, I don't have a console, so I never, like, look at, like... Well, yeah, it's on the Switch right now. Because I remember the Switch trailer was, like, you know, kind of not great. I'm, I'm just watching our frames for a moment. Make sure we're okay. Stars like our sun generate light and heat by fusing hydrogen into helium. As it grows older, the stars run out of hydrogen and start to con and starts to contract. As the star's core contracts, it gets hotter, causing the outer layers to expand. The stars become a red giant. When the core is hot enough, it starts to fuse helium into carbon. If the star is massive enough, it will continue to, to fuse carbon into even heavier elements like iron. Ultimately, the star will collapse under its own gravity and then explode in a violent event called a supernova. Based on Chart's observations, this will one day be the fate of our own sun. Well, I hope that doesn't happen in my lifetime. A strange rock moving around this grotto appears to react to conscious observation. The level-headed among us realize there must be some sort of obstacle illusion at play, but Gabro claims this rock exists in all places until, or, or rather, this rock exists in all possible states until it is observed, whatever that means. Whatever is actually happening, both sides of this debate agree the effect is extremely creepy. So this is probably one of the most infamous mechanics in this game. See this rock? Where'd it go? What that rock doing? Oh, happy feet. Happy feet, dumbass. Oh, now it's here. Oh. 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 How would do that? How would do that, though? Schrodinger's Rock? Yes, actually. That's, that's a good way to put it. It, it, it only exists, like, when you're observing it. And otherwise, it's both there and not there. Which means that if nobody's... If I'm not looking at it right now, it's technically kind of everywhere. Because it's not being observed. And yet, there it is. Very cool. Very cool stuff. This will get, this will get extrapolated on a ton. And there are many ways to manipulate manipulate this sort of uh, weird phenomenon. A lot of cool stuff. A lot of cool things going on. Schrodinger streamer, yeah. Chad, if you put me in a box and like don't and like leave me in there for a day, am I dead or alive? How will you know? So this is the galaxy map. We're in Timber Hearth. This is where we live. You can see our moon orbiting. Right here. And we have a lot of we have a lot of planets in our galaxy. We got um Don't worry about this. I'm sure I'm sure this is fine, whatever this is. So that's definitely not like a, a black hole or anything. Technically a white hole. Dark Bramble? What's that? It's like a moon. By the Dark Bramble. That's kind of neat. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, now it's here? Oh, now it's gone. Where'd it go? Chat, what that moon doing? White hole is what they call me in the club. <laughs> All right. Is that plant just like the rock? I mean, it did it did do like the same thing, right? How do you ever get on it? I don't know. 
These are two uh, Hourglass Twins, and you'll see why it's specifically called the Hourglass Twins. The, the, okay, so this is not really a spoiler or anything, but each of these planets has like a gimmick to it. The Dark Bramble, Brittle Hollow, the Hourglass Twins, and the Giant Steep. They all have like their quirks. We, we, go, we go to all these places, for the record. I think the Twins are probably my favorite. They have, the, they have the coolest mechanic to them. Also, there seems to be something right next to the sun orbiting it. You ever thought about how many times the word hull has been said on this channel? Um, I'd say at least like three or four times. I mean, I wouldn't call myself like a like a like a like a hull addict or anything, but Oh, there's a there's that moon again. Hull. The giant steep is cool too though. Oh, where'd it go? No, chat is not horny. No horny. Wait, does the moon actually show up on um Well that it can't possibly, but Actually can't tell. Yeah, bonk bonk for chat. You don't need to you don't need to behave. Everyone needs to calm down. Go take go take a cold shower and come back. Hey Hornfells. There you are. I just finished our pre-flight observations, and local conditions are good. Time to get our newest astronaut off the ground. And you will be our first astronaut ever equipped with the Nomai Translator, too. I confess, I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. We're better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of the Nomai. You and Hal should be very proud of your work. Tell me, what's your plan once you're in space? I'm going to wing it. Planning to follow the footsteps of Spelletsbar in the great Outer Wild Adventures tradition, are you? I might have guessed. Well, see if you can't push the translator tool of yours to good work. Yeah, we'll get there. Thanks for the launch codes. Best get off, uh, get off, get off the ground before Slate makes any more modifications to your ship. Good luck out there. Let me know if I can help you with anything. So we have launch codes now. We have boop, 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 beep, beep, boop, beep. I don't, I don't know Morse code. Morse, Morse code. Does that actually say anything? Don't want to give epic, epic money. I don't particularly want to give Steam money either. I mean, in in terms of getting more money to developers, Epic is better, actually. But it is what it is. I I do I do prefer having everything in one place, though. I understand that. I just have it twice. Smile. Oh. I'm sure this is this is a part of the exhibit, right? I'm I'm sure that's fine. That's that's it does that to everybody. Don't worry about it. Oh, hi satellite. Hey, so did you get a good look at the Nomai statue? Yeah, the eyes looked at me and opened. It looked at me and opened its eyes. Well, well, the statue was doing what? So it so its eyes opened, and then you saw images from your own memories and glowing lights flying around. You mean like a hallucination? Listen, no offense, but are you sure you're okay to launch, like medically speaking? You know what? Don't worry about it. Maybe maybe you should sit down for a bit and take it easy. I'd hate for anything bad to happen if you try to launch where you're not feeling great. But hey, when you are ready, then you can make the most of our translator tool. I can't believe it. It's all grown up and leaving for space already. For real, though, I'm glad you're the one carried it, carrying it, not like Ryback. They'd fall on it for sure. Say, if you want to do a short trip to get get your space legs under you, you could check out the ruins on the Adel Rock. I'd love to learn what those are. Good luck and safe flying. I actually think the uh, the the launch codes might just actually just be different for each save file. I don't think it actually means anything. Did you just ascend? We definitely saw something, right? 
Oh, wait, no, I need to actually get back down here. Can I do a shortcut and not die? No, let's not do that. Let's, let's not do anything too spicy and die in another stupid way. Already got my uh, stupid death quota filled for the day. One. I can't believe that killed me. I can't believe I just dove into the water and just drowned immediately. They didn't even try to hold their breath. Whatever. Alright, well, uh, see you when I come back. Probably. <laughs> that was very funny. It was very stupid is what it was. This is our ship. Um, it has a few notable features, such as a gravity crystal, so we can always be, you know, stuck to the interior of our ship and not be floating around. It has, um, some plants so we can breathe. Because we are just particularly sensitive to, like, trees. Has our suit that we now actually finally have. So it won't die anymore. So now that I have that, actually, let's go back inside. Now that this won't kill me. Hey. Anything cool down here? Bunch of junk. Bunch of litter. Just a bunch of litter, chat. That's all that's down here. People dropping shit into the hole. Like a wishing well. Ooh, what's this? This, this one's fun. What's the glowy thing? Oh, is there a glowy thing? It'll be fine. We. Some things never change. Yeah, I'm always throwing stuff into holes. Whoa. There's more glowy things. I mean these. Ow. Whoa! Wow, flat earthers are fucking losing their mind right now. Ow. <laughs> Came down a little hard. Unidentified signal nearby. Funky rock. Signal identified grove shard. Frequency discovered quantum fluctuations. Scary rock. Oh, now it's a tree. Oh, there it is. Oh, now you're back. I'm sure it's fine. I wouldn't I wouldn't think too much about it. So with with the small scale of um these planets and how fucking fast you can go you can definitely like I wanted to read that So it's not just um it's not just the rock that can disappear too it's other things maybe affected by whatever like quantum trickery is going on here Where'd that sign I wanted to read that sign there it is so I just have to keep looking at it. Across old bark in the ancient glade, the quiet shade, it's always dark. So it's literally everywhere? Until you look at it, now it's here. But if I don't look at it, then it's, you know, in all places at once. Or something like that. Oh? Oh. No, I wanted to go in the hole. You know what? Fine. I'll explore I'll explore up here. Uh, don't get don't get Super Mario Galaxy. It is extremely easy to just shoot yourself into the orbit. And it's honestly kind of scary. Okay, but since since the graphics are turned down a little bit, this does look a little crusty. Oh, can we get an eclipse from the moon? 
No, it's not perfect. In fact, I'm pretty sure if you jump, if you jump in the just in just the perfect velocity, ow, you could probably shoot yourself into the moon. So just orbits really fast. Everything orbits fast. This galaxy is very small. So now we have um, a launcher, which continues to take real-time photos of everything in front of it. Oh, can I? Watch this. I'm going to be on the moon. I'm determined. Yeah. Not good enough. It wants to go into space so bad. I don't know. How, I just don't know how they did it. It's insane to me. We can even take selfies. I think. Can't we? How do you do that? Oh, this is how. Hold on. How do I do it again? How do you rotate? Yeah, it's me. We're just a little guy. Oh, it's so fucked. Even when you jump, we move. Because the planet's rotating underneath us. Okay, give me that back. You know, we should probably get going. We got, we got stuff to do, and I'm just, you know, I'm just kind of fucking around. Alright, so we have the uh, obligatory uh, mountain boobies. Oh, there's a lot of them. Yeah, just a little birthday astronaut. Wait a second. Waiting, we're waiting. What? Holy moly. Thank you for the five gift sub, Oni. What the? Wait a second. No, you wait a second. Thank you so much. I want that counter being below 200. Okay, that is not your job to do. Oh, wait, I'm running out of fuel. Oh, shit. That's actually not good. Well, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. A lot. Also, I smack you. No, but it's fun. I can't stop you. I'm not your boss. Can I make it there with this little fuel? I don't think I can, actually. I think I can. Hey, haven't left yet. Just, uh, you know, got a little, uh, turned around. Oh, thanks. Oops. Alright, let's go for real now. Let's refill on our, uh, our stuff. Alright, guys, ready? We're off. Look at that. That's just, that's just where we were. Let's go to the moon. So I think I have autopilot turned on. I hope. Engage autopilot. There we go. That's trippy. If you think that's trippy. Play No Man's Sky with me. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. That game's never like super. Um... Oh, that's a little rough. I need to remember how to land. I have, oh yeah, I have like a, I have like a SUV or like a rear view camera on my ship. Okay, we're good. First try. And we have our stuff on. We're on the moon. Ain't that cool? Unidentified signal nearby. Trees. Hey, friend. Hey, Esker. Oh, hey, it's you. Ground control didn't tell me you were launching. Long time no see. Actually, I guess it's been a long time since I've seen anyone. Seems lonely up here. 
A little. I'm in touch with ground control. Horns, fells, and ghosts on mostly, but... And they radio off the chat now and then. And when ground control forgets them up here, and they usually do, I launch my little scout at the village. You spy on us? What? No, it's not spying. It's just, you know, one-way communication that none of the other villagers know about. Because I never told them. Don't go. Uh, I mean, anything else you wanted to ask? Is that you whistling? Probably. Or actually, definitely. The other travelers carry instruments, so they don't bother whistling. You can pick up their music with a signal scope, you know? Best spot for that is in the North Pole. Great reception. The North, po the North Pole is marked in red on your mini-map. But the Adel Rock is a pretty small moon, really. Just go north. You can't miss it. Keeping Tom, but in space. I mean, yeah, kind of. Alright, so North Pole is always red on our, like, planet mini-map. Yummy. Yummy air. Oh, what's that? I wonder what that is. That's on our planet, yeah? Weird. It's like a broken bridge and everything, too. Whoa, what's that? There's something in that big crater over there. Or big hole. God. I forgot how, like, mildly disorienting this game actually is. Oh, I need to actually, like... Unknown. We'll make it known. There we go. Just just so they're marked in my, like, logbook. Someone rammed the plane. I think it's just a hole. I don't know. Alright, so let's go north. Oh, and not Mario Galaxy my way off the planet. Oh, it's so, that's so actually scary. Because once you're, once you're gone, like, once you've lost control, that's it. I'm trying to catch a phenomenon right now to see if I can actually show it off for you guys, but let's see if I'll actually do it. Probably not because I'm looking at it. Oh, come on. You want you so bad. Oh, come on. Do the thing. Do the cool thing. Okay, it's not going to. But all these, all these planets, all these little dots, are observable um, supernovas going off, and they're all on like a randomly generated timer. But the blue ones are like exploding, or about to anyway. Why is it so dark? I hate, it. I hate that it's so dark. Let's go north. Let's go, let's go explore this thing because we uh, we have plenty of time. But you know, we have all the time in the world to do whatever I need to. But just, but just in case I didn't. Yeah, mildly. Esker signal scope log. Day 48. So not picking up Ryback's banjo from Brittle Hollow. I'm sure they're fine, but I'll feel better once I can hear their music. Day 51. Listen to Chert play for a while today. Unrelated. Someone should tell Porphy. Porphy? Porphy and Ghost on their flirting is not subtle from an aerial perspective. Day 55, banjo music coming in loud and clear today. Sounds like Ryback's doing okay. That oaf, I was worried. Day 63, today I thought I heard something strange. I don't know, it was probably nothing. No, it's back again today too. Something strange is coming from Timber Hearth. Okay, I know this is crazy, but the sound from Timber Hearth sounds exactly like Feldspar's harmonica. But Feldspar disappeared in space, in space ages ago. It can't be them. It's still here. This is creepy. Maybe my signal scope is broken? I better talk to G Gines? Gineas? Gineas. This game makes space look like a big existential crisis. Ooh, have I got news for you about this game. Right, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try to... I'm gonna try to, like, long jump my way across this entire moon. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Okay, we're fine. This is on the South Pole. Uh, ball?
this is also one of the coolest things in this game. Um, you can set the ball to any specific planet you want to observe, and you hear audio from it. So whatever this planet is right here, it's very loud and very scary sounding. So what if we set it to... What if we set it to this guy? Whatever this is. What if you set it to this thing? That's absolutely horrifying. It sounds like it's breathing. Yeah, wouldn't that be fucked up or something? What if we were what if we were on the moon? How's it go? What if we were, what if there were two guys on the moon and one killed the other with a rock? So we have a couple of uh, actual frequencies to look at. We have Outer Wilds frequencies, which is where all the travelers are. So we can kind of hear stuff on different planets. Three minutes of oxygen remaining. Oh fuck! Hold on. Let me go get some. Let me go get some air juice. There we go. Nice. So what if you set it to this thing? It doesn't seem to be locking on. Whatever this is. It doesn't seem to be uh, able to really track it. <laughs> whatever, whatever. As a person who's definitely never played this game, I wonder what that's about. It looks like a black hole. It does seem like... It seems very holish, doesn't it? Gotta go enjoy fucked up space game? I will. So there's actually a point where all the... um. All of the instruments line up. I'm, I don't. I wonder if I can get it to happen. It's kind of. I think it's like a once in like every x amount of minutes sort of thing. So honestly, it may not even happen. Seems very holish. I have a name. Look. Go to church. You need God. Find Jesus. Go go to church, confess thy sins. You have a lot of them. Oh, check that out. What the fuck is that? It's like a comet. Interesting. I got the run out last time I did that. <laughs> of course you did. Of course you did. I was... I was upstairs testing the eye signal locator, and I can hear it follow the signals from the sun, Giant's Deep, and Brittle Hollow. The black hole thingy probably has the screams of the damned if you locked onto it. Yeah, maybe. However, something strange is happening when I ask the eye signal locator to follow the eye signal. The device's indicator rotates wildly and never points to just one direction. I got thrown out. I got thrown out for watching the stream one time. Oh, thank you for the host, Lexi. Well, I threw you out because, like, you're like, oh, I've never played this game. And, like, oh. Well, like, you, you, like, you expressed, like, mild interest in what the game was, and I didn't want to spoil it for you, so yeah, I kicked you out. Is that a bad thing? Should have auto hosted. Well, you got it working. It's fine. No? Well, get over it. You'll be okay. Listen, I like Deltarune a lot. So when someone comes in here and like, oh, I've never played this before. What is this game about? I don't want to tell you. I want you to go find out yourself if you like have like even a passing interest, you know? Slam my butt because it kind of hurt. So it kind of hurt. Whatever. Fucking get a bigger butt and it won't hurt. I see. I most likely calibrated the locator incorrectly. Privet, my apprentice, and I will make adjustments and try again. Too close. An update. Disappointingly, everything is correctly calibrated after all. 
It saddens me to, to posit, posit this, my friends, but I believe we need to build a more sophisticated device if we want to find the exact location of the eye of the universe. This is Deltarune. <laughs> this is Deltarune. Then we will build it. Don't lose hope. Where's the divorce man? He's not here. Don't lose hope, Cassava. Our search for the eye is what brought our clan to this place. We won't give up so easily. So is the my text basically 4chan threads? Yeah, actually. Yeah, it is. It's like any forum. That's that's all their, like, uh... All the Nomai's text communication is just like a forum thread. This is a curious result. It's possible the eyes stopped calling out a signal. Ship log updated. Shiny? Where should this new, more sophisticated locator be built? It may need to be longer than this, or larger than this eye signal locator is. Anona and this, Anona and those of us originally stranded on the Ember Twin built a quantum moon locator there. Quantum moon, but the heat of the sun made its construction challenging. I would recommend building on that planet. So don't build stuff on the Ember Twin. The heat of the sun. This is very hot, very spicy. The southern glacier on Brittle Hollow has ample available space. I could construct a new building to. The house is. What's that noise? What's that music? What's going on? Hello? Does that moon look like more spicy to me? To me? Is it? It's looking like a little bit more like flame and red hot Cheeto right now. That's weird. It's a very spicy sun. Yeah, it's like more spicy. Huh. I'm sure it's fine. Oh, it's so pretty, though. <sighs> Don't get launched into space. Doesn't it look kind of tasty? Like, you could dip a chip in there and, like, bite it. It's, like, really extra hot, spicy salsa. Looking like an Ed, Ed, and Eddie jawbreaker. Huh, weird. Strange. It's shrinking? It is, isn't it? Oh, no! What's happening? I'm sure that's fine. This is this is what the sun usually does, right? Yeah, it's normal. The sun just does that. So here analyze the uh, the premise of this game. You have 22 minutes to solve the problem. The problem being that the sun's going to explode. Now we're back here. Is that just a weird dream or what? Hey, Slate. Hey, you ready to get this thing off the ground? Ship's all fueled and ready to go. Did, did I just die? Oh, bad dream or something? You look you still look half asleep, but that's a negative on being deceased. I know it's tradition to sleep out under the stars the night before it launched, but if you ask me, it makes you a bit jumpy. Weird. Well, hold up. You're going to want to get the launch codes from the observatory first. I already got them, remember? Huh, must be inhaling more fumes than I realized. That stuff is potent. Well, if you've got the codes, I'm not going to stop you. Good luck and take care of that ship. Right. Huh. I'm sure that's fine. That was just a, that was just a weird dream. And we coincidentally have... um. We were coincidentally just... just uh, the launch codes from our dream, just by happenstance, are the exact ones we need. 
I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. Let's go back to the moon. This actually wasn't done there. 20 minutes seems a little low to find out what's going on. It does, doesn't it? Oh my god, I'm gonna overshoot this thing. But you have an infinite amount of 22 minutes. That's the thing, right? You have as much time as you want. I'm never, I've never been good at landing in this game. All right, we're fine. Oh, let me show off this, actually, on here. So with this game's big premise being a mystery, um, your, your ship comes with a built-in uh, ship log, which is basically um, a big flowchart of everything you've seen so far. So we have things like uh, we have things like the village on Timber Hearth, the one and only Hearthian village, as well as the main source of explosions on this planet. The Nomai statue in the observatory opened his eyes and looked at me. I saw a strange glowing lights. So my own memories flash before my eyes. Zero G Zero G Cave, a cave at the very center of Timber Hearth, used by Outer Wilds adventurers to train new astronauts. I successfully repaired another satellite for Gosan. Yeah, repair it. The Nomai device created to pinpoint the sources of distant signals. The Nomai were disappointed by, by their failure to detect a signal from something called the Eye of the Universe. Very excited you're playing this. Yeah, I've played it before. I just, I forgot that the DLC was coming out, like, next week. I was like, fuck, I gotta replay this game. I haven't played this game in, like, a couple years. I gotta play it now. Oh, what? Yes. It just, uh, 28th. DLC? Yeah, DLC. Look it up on Steam. I can't remember the name of it. It's getting DLC, and the DLC looks like kind of spooky. It's like kind of scary looking. I'm gonna shit. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I know I'm shitting too. What do you What do you think I'm doing? I was on Steam the other day, and I was like, "Oh yeah, this game's getting a DLC." It comes out next week. What do you mean? <laughs> Yeah, and the game does a very good job of letting you know that you're not done here. That's what this little symbol means. So even if... So when you start this game, it seems very overwhelming. Because this this big flow chart gets very, very, very big. But the game does a good job of letting you like digest things in little pieces. The Nomai decided to build a larger, more sophisticated ice signal locator on Brittle Hollow's south pole. Which we haven't found yet, so it doesn't even have a picture. The Lunar Lookout. A lookout platform is a spectacular view of the solar system. Eskar uses their signal scope here to keep tabs on other travelers. Eskar is growing a crop of trees at the camp. They seem to be doing okay, but they've probably been alone on the moon for way too long. Eskar's signal scope log reports harmonica music coming from somewhere on Timber Hearth. They claim it sounds just like Feldspar's harmonica, but Feldspar disappeared in space ages ago. That's weird. Yeah, I know. I okay. So this game has a pretty conclusive ending. So like, I never would have thought that it have DLC either. No, I actually, want I want to be here. But apparently, it's getting it. And the trailer for the DLC makes it look like very like, again, like kind of creepy. It's so, like I'm very interested. I mean, this game already gets like kind of creepy to begin with. Oh my god. So like, I just I don't even know what it could be about. So let's go down here and finish exploring. Um, yeah, like, if there's a testament to, not that there's anything wrong with, like, procedurally generated stuff, but there, if there's a game that, like, makes a good case for, like, handcrafted, like, very, like, specifically made worlds, it's this. Because everything in this game was, like, made for a purpose. And, like, this is very cool. So which one haven't I read? Where should the new signal go? Quantum Locator Moon. Southern Glacier and Brittle Hollow. Yes, let's build it there. I imagine our young friend Kanoi would enjoy that immensely. He's always held great interest in that eye. Especially for a child born so long after the crash. I'll begin construction on Brittle Hollow's South Pole immediately, then. Yeah, like, obviously right now, this early in the game, we don't really know anything. 
but later on, once you start piecing together more and more stuff, this game gets kind of, it gets kind of dreadful sometimes, in like a good way. Okay, wow, wow. I've seen this ruin in other travelers' pictures, but seeing it for myself, it's really old, isn't it? But wow, this is the coolest day of my life. Okay, um, time for some official notes. So this is some kind of Nomai locator. It can point out the different planets, which is incredibly cool, by the way, but from what little I can understand of the writing here, I think it was built to try and find something specific? I'm not sure, but I was also able to translate something about a South Pole of Brittle Hollow, so I'll fly there to see if I can learn more. Yep, just gonna get back in the old ship and take off. Totally safe. Mostly safe. Oh, stars above. Imagine being an astronaut and, like, being afraid of uh, space travel. The the dark irony there. I've already read this, right? Yes, I've already read this. So this, this symbol keeps popping up. I want this, like, as a tattoo. Like, if I, if I, if I got something from this game to put on my body forever, it would be this. But this is such a hard thing to tattoo. There's so many little lines, I'd, I'd be, like, almost a little scared to do it. But that's what it would be. I would have to find a tattoo artist that's, like, very, you know, very confident. That's what I would want. I say this to someone who does not have any tattoos. I've always wanted one, but, like, I don't know. Whenever I think about getting a tattoo, I'm like... Do I want that on my body forever? And I'm just like, eh? I don't know. Maybe? Yeah, like, I don't know. So this is pointing at the sun. Very cool. Tattoos are just harder to really, you know, decide on. See, I have, I have several piercings. So, like, I don't know. Hey, nice, nice ship. Looking a little, uh, looking a little crash there, bud. Yeah, y y you sure you just don't want to? I can, I can, I can give you a ride back home if you need it, but. I actually want to go back home real quick. Too fast, too fast, too fast, too fast, too fast. Wait, can can you crash into like the? Uh... Oh my god. Stop. I just failed face through trees is fine. I mean, honestly, I want more piercings, but I don't know. <laughs> Here we go. Here's something. What is this? Oh. You know, I'm not good at parking in real life either. It's never been my strong suit as a uh, person who owns an automobile. Never been good at it. So now you get the bravery. Get my first piercing. I, I mean, I know everyone who has a piercing is going to say this, but it's really not that bad. I was pretty afraid too. Um... My first piercing was kind of a rough one, or my first piercing was considered to be one of the rough ones. Uh, my septum is the one I got done first. Like there was, it was, it didn't hurt, but like it was kind of hard to get done. It's like getting a shot, but crunchy. Yeah, kind of. Because like with with the with with septum rings, with septum piercings, like they have to push. I'm sorry if this is gross, but like they have to push like kind of hard to get through that. And it doesn't hurt. If if they pierce the correct spot, it does not hurt. It just feels like I should probably pause so I'm not like <laughs> so I'm not like pushing the timer. It feels like you know when you sneeze like really, really hard and like your nose burns. You know, like ow that no that sneeze like hurt. Like my nose hurts after sneezing that hard. Or like or like when you're swimming in a pool and you accidentally breathe through your nose that like burning sensation and like you sneeze that's kind of what it feels like but it's gone after like a couple of days the worst uh, honestly the worst part about getting a piercing 
it's not the actual piercing itself it's the healing process because when your piercing is healing it gets all crusty and scabby and the worst thing you can do is fiddle with it because i made the mistake of like especially with my ear piercings like they would like scab over and get crusty and i would fiddle with it and i would push i would like accidentally push scar tissue through the hole and like out on the other side that's like that hurts a lot i won't lie that 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 that, that don't feel good the worst fiddler you got look you got to you can't fiddle fiddling's the worst thing you can do it hurt it that I'll, I'll be honest that hurts more than the actual piercing like i'm a fiddler too like i'm a nail biter i'm like a leg leg jiggler like i'm always moving like i fiddle if you rub your nose a lot septum's kind of rough which i'm i'm a habitual nose rubber it took a lot out of me to not like mess with my nose all the time but now I forget it's there. Like I, I forget I have a septum piercing sometimes. Church research notes. Property of church. I've detected a strange signal coming from somewhere within the grove in this crater. It's very similar to the signal emitted by the quantum moon, so it stands to reason those two signals are probably related. We don't know much about the quantum moon, seeing as no one's ever been able to land on it, but hopefully studying the signal in the grove will reveal more about it. Cool. Quantum moon, huh? That's that, uh, that's that plant that kept popping in and out of his existence. Now, my two low piercings, they're like nothing. Like, I, I literally didn't even feel them. Uh, my industrial, I will say that one kind of did not feel very good, I'll admit. Because the amount of pressure that you have to, like, your, your piercer has to, like, exert to, like, push through cartilage like that, it's not great. It, it's kind of crunchy like you can hear it it's it's not it's not the most pleasant experience in the world but i'm glad i got it yeah and it's fucked up because with industrial piercings and for those who don't know it's like the bar that goes through someone's ear it's like getting two piercings in one because they have to they have to do it once and then do it again on the other on the other side of your ear it's kind of fucked up whoa This is the thing that crashed, huh? It's got roots everywhere. Ew. Hey, this is uh, fine, right? We have fun in the creepy space. See you next time. Oh, see ya. Thank you for coming by. Hey, Tech Tight. Hey, oh, Hatchling. Thought you were taking that tin can yours in the space today. What are you still doing here? Me? I saw something crash over the horizon. Didn't like what I was seeing in the pictures my little scout was sending back, so... I thought I'd come over here myself and take a look. Is that a dark bramble seed? You think so? It's nothing I've ever seen on Timberhearth before, so you're probably onto something there. Whatever it is, I've, it's put it put its roots down in a hurry. I don't like the look of this thing, Hatchling. So, and that's a fact. So, <clears throat> I think I'll set Morrow and Howl loose on it. Best get rid of this mess sooner rather than later, and no one can remove an unwanted plant faster than the tree keeper can. I have to get a look at what's inside the seed first, though. Didn't want to set anybody to hacking up a potentially dangerous plant without a better idea what's working inside there. Tough can help me haul the old scout scout launcher over here. Obviously, the opening is too small for anyone to fit inside. And anyway, I'm not going to blindly stick my hands into anything that looks like looks as unpleasant as that seed does. It's a good way to lose an arm or two. Or a leg. I mean, you've kind of already done that, though, I see. Hole. Oh, there's the harmon harmonica um, they heard on the moon, or from the moon. That's kind of weird, huh? Why is that? Why am I hearing sounds from this thing? Let's shoot, let's shoot a probe in there. There's nothing behind this thing. Unless it's like traveling through the roots or something. Hmm. Big fish mouth. Bring it back. Do it again. 
Error, duplicate signal. Duplicate signal. 27.2 kilometers away. I'm sure that's fine, right? Big angler fish mouth. Big angler fish mouth. I'm sure that's fine. Let's not worry about that right now. It's friendly. Definitely friendly. I'm sure I'm sure that could mean nothing bad. Definitely not. Wow, how convenient this uh big bridge is here. More games should let you see your feet. That's that's my that's my verdict. I should be able to see my feet in more games. That's a fact. Alright, so where should we go first? I'm down for anything. <laughs> feet. Yeah, so what have we learned? Ryback headed the Brittle Hollow to investigate something the Nomai were doing at the South Pole. Dark Bramble Seed. A seed from Dark Bramble crashed here and has already taken root. Tech Tite wants to use a scout launcher to get a look at what's inside. My signal scope picks up harmonica music when I aim at the seed. I launch my little scout into the seed. Somehow the seed is much bigger on the inside. Weird, huh? Freaky. I launch my scout into the seed that crashed on Timber Hearth. It ends up somewhere in Dark Bramble. I'm sure that's normal. Quantum Moon. Church research notes mention a quantum moon that no Harthian has been able to land on. There's a strange rock shard in this grove that moves when I'm not watching. It emits a signal in the quantum fluctuations frequency. I found a poem written on one of the trees in the grove. Just some anglerfish out there coughing and choking like they inhaled a fly. That's a big anglerfish. No fish should ever get that big. I think... I think that, like, just period, there should be an upper size limit on how big things can get, like animals. It should Nothing should ever get that big. So where should we go first? Should we go to Giant's Deep, Brittle Hollow, or the Bramble, perhaps? Or maybe the Twins? Or we could try to land on the Comet. Try. Keyword, try. They can kinda, that can get kind of tricky. You're just intimidated? I mean, maybe. Yeah, learn on the comment. It'll be funny. Alright. Hold on. Before, before I just oof off. Can you lock on the things? Um, oh, you can. That's good. I, I mean, it's not that hard. We just have to match velocity and then go. Stop! <laughs> Autopilot once we're in the sky, please. And preferably not into the sun. That'd be awesome. Perhaps even the best thing. Okay, now we autopilot. Instantly crashes. No, we're actually fine now. Now, now we are just autopiloting. Wow, look at that. That sun is so big and yet and yet so small. Oh shit, we're coming in. Kinda hot. Well, oh, there's a white hole. Hole. Coming in a little spicy. Hole. We're right here. See? Easy. God, this game is so creepy. This game is so, like... I, w I, I don't want to say unintentionally, because I don't think it is unintentional, but this game is just, like... So creepy at times. Is it made of cheese? What kind of, um... What kind of cheese are you looking at? What kind of cheese? What kind of cheese are you eating? Looks like this. 
I could just jump off this and float into that white hole. Blue. Blue cheese isn't real. Come on. Oh, I'm so scared. What's this? Everything's frozen. This is troublesome. It seems the comet wishes to submerge our shuttle in ice. If we stay on the surface too long, the shuttle may freeze entirely. Even if it did, couldn't someone call it back home to the gravity cannon on Ember Twin? Yes, but the exploration of the comet would be more difficult if we were if we were without the shuttle until someone recalled it. Perhaps we shouldn't have landed on the dark side of the comet. Suppose one of us remained in the shuttle to keep it warm and continue monitoring the surface. This would be wise, I think, Clary, but if you don't mind waiting here with it, Poke and I can continue to investigate the surface. Yeah, I'm sure it's fine. Just go poking around in some, like, unknown, small, like, comet meteor. What, what's the what's the scientific definition or difference between a comet and a meteor? Like, don't comets, like, never hit stuff? Like, aren't they just, like, orbiting? Or, like, a meteor slash meteorite? Is one just smaller than the other? I never learned the difference. Oh, comet is, like, the ice thing? I see. Oh, it sure is just fucking empty space, huh? I don't like that. I do like this game a lot, but sometimes when I just stop and, like, look up and just see, like, you know, nothing. Oh, hey, it's Dark Bramble. There's a harmonica again. Weird. A meteor is rock and metal. Oh. I see. Oh, it's the quantum moon. Oh, we're right up on it. Oh, fuck. Here it comes. Slap it. I could. Oh, no. It's taking my ship. Oh, it's taking me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not good. That's actually not good. No, 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 no. Wait, at least let me on it. Oh, no. Oh, come on, dude. At least, at least, at least take me to your orbit, you asshole. I can't believe that. I just got abducted. Like, I just, I just actually got abducted. You bastard. You bastard little moon, you. I've never seen that happen. You know, that being said, it was it was probably it was probably honestly giant steep that got me. Oh god. Oh god, I'm not ready for this. Oh my ship! I can't explore the giant steep right now. Oh okay, guess we're here. Oh good lord. Okay, this game, you know, no matter how much I play this game, shit like that is still terrifying. Oh yuck. Where's my ship? Where is my ship? What planet did it end up landing on? It's fine. I can swim. I can't. I cannot believe that just happened to me. That that's not my ship. That's 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 a traveler ship. That's not mine. It, it's it's stuff like that that makes like a replay of this game honestly still pretty cool. Like I've never been on I've never been on the comet and then just get fucking kidnapped. That's never happened to me. Okay, we're here. What is this? Okay, we're at like the funky jellyfish. I really hope that I really hope that cyclone doesn't come over here. Please let me just explore in peace. 
I don't think I can actually. So where is my ship? Where's my ship? Where is it? Does my does your ship show up on the mini on this map? I actually don't think it does. Why ain't that a bitch? Well, good thing is that the moon's about to or the sun's about to explode. So I won't have to worry about it for too much longer. I just cannot believe that happened. I was busy. I was trying to like do a thing. It had the nerve. Ghost matter detected nearby. Wait, really? Where? There's some there's some funky jellyfish. They look kind of tasty. I want to eat them. Look at that big pit down there. Oh, there's nothing like scary or frightening down there. That would suck. Wait, can you even breach the atmosphere with this thing? No, the gravity on this planet is just too strong. You can't even escape with a scout launcher. Wow, that's kind of funny. Oh, here it is. Well, now it's too late. Well, damn it. What's more painful, being air fried to death by the sun or being boiled because you're here? Um, I feel like both are probably pretty bad. My eyes. My freaking eyes. Well, that didn't really go well. Everything I wanted to happen did not happen. Acceptance. I mean, what else can I do but accept my fate? Sit here and accept the... The, the, swiftness, the swiftness of the heat death of the universe. Tis my only choice, really. What else can I do? So at the beginning of every loop, this thing gets smashed into a million pieces. I say th I, I say this thing like I'm trying to be coy and I don't know what this is, but I'm trying to see if I can catch a star exploding because it's, it's very cool. I think this one's about to do it. Yeah, you gonna blow up for me on the camera? What if you're what if you're a big what if you're a big supernova explosion waiting to happen and I inflated you making a big and round and you exploded? I'm sorry. Is someone gonna do it? I think it's the ones that are tiny and blue about that are about to explode. Supernova you big and round. Hey, did, you, did I steal your joke accidentally? I'm sorry, it won't happen again. Yes. Well, hey, it means our brains are just simply uh, in the exact same place, right? That's a good thing. Frozen Nomai shuttle. I found a Nomai shuttle almost completely encased in ice. There were three Nomai aboard the shuttle. One of them stayed behind to keep the shuttle warm, while the other two explored the interloper. There's more to explore here. The Nomai shuttle that's frozen in the interloper can be called home to the called home to the gravity cannon on Ember Twin. Yeah, neuron alignment smile. Okay, let's go try that again. But this time, maybe um, not get uh kidnapped by the the intense gra gravitational pull of a bigger planet than me. Cause the idea is that you want to be on the interloper when it's near the sun, so you can like you know actually explore everything. Cause it's encased in ice. It melts. So let's try that again. But this time, uh. Yeah. It'd be night each shit this time. 
You ever been hit by a planet? I have been. It's very fucked up. I've shot myself out of the gravity cannon on Ever Twin into a planet before, and it like instantly killed me. Cause I didn't realize what I was. I didn't realize that it wasn't like an autopilot sort of thing, and I just, I just shot out. And that thing, that thing shoots you out at like a million miles per hour too. It was very scary. Like in, it was like instantaneous death, and I didn't even realize what happened. Okay, hopefully I don't run into the sun doing this. We're fine. There are a lot of like very funny ways to meet your demise in this game. I'm not gonna run into Brittle Hollow. No, okay, it's in front. Death perception has never been my strong suit. Let me land. We're landing. We're landing slowly. Slowly. That's not slow at all. I just broke the legs of my poor ship. Oh, God. Don't forget to gear up. Honestly, a very easy thing to forget to do. Yeah, I just want... I want that game that I was talking about earlier. Inscription. I want the full game to be out like yesterday. That game is way too, like... Oh my god, please. Okay, we're getting near the sun. Right? We're gonna get there soon. Yeah, I played the demo last night, and it kept me up way past my bedtime. Yeah, here we go. The ice is melting. Such a cool mechanic. I remember being stuck on this, like, quote-unquote puzzle for so long because I couldn't figure out how to make the ice melt. I was like, how do I, like, explore this place? So this is, like, one of the last places on my, um... Like, uh... Like, ship log, I guess. Oh, I have to be careful. Wait, where do I have to go, though? I can't quite remember. I have to go in here, right? Or somewhere? There's an, there's an entrance to a cave system down here. Oh, no. Right here? Here? No, the ice is coming back. Oh, I'm a fool. I'm such a foolish little fool. I've missed my window of opportunity. Oh, son of a bitch. Are we coming back around? No, not for a very long time. Well, there goes that idea. That's fine. We can always do this later. There's no rush. There's just too many, like, cool, interesting games that I want to play coming out. I feel like it's impossible to keep up these days. Like, even if I, like, curated it down to, like... There's just too many. Like, it feels like no matter how many, like, how much time I take, like, very being being very picky and choosy with what I play, there's just never enough time to get through, like, anything. Which is very sad. Honestly. So I've never actually tried to land on Riddle Hollow's uh, exploding moon. But I would, I would assume it's possible to do it. I don't know what it would really do for you. I don't know if there's any actually relevant information on the, uh... Slow down. Please slow down. You know, that's fine. It, it's hard to pick a favorite planet in this game, because honestly, they're all cool. I want to refill our fuel, actually. Every planet has, like, its own, like, set of mysteries. In its own like gameplay mechanics to it they're all very engaging like i don't think there's a single plant in this game that I would call like boring or something like that slow down how do you do pitcher mode here we go because there's ghost matter here yucky What if we were what if we were two boys and we kissed in front of like the uh like instantaneous heat death plasma? 
Would that wouldn't that be fun? Oh, someone's been here recently. I love how the protagonist always takes time to to you know eat a mushroom. Mushroom? Marshmallow. Am I just hungry for mush for mushrooms? Okay, is it okay? Is there a way to not like? Do they just not like marshmallows? I'm convinced they just don't like marshmallows. Yeah, yeah. Even even Timber Hearth has like a lot of fun things going on behind the scenes. There's there's a whole like dig site there. The journey from the South Pole has been, or the journey here from the South Pole has been um going going with harrowing. Because all of the um, meteors. But hey, at least I made it here unconcussed and not on fire. That's always a plus. Anyway, okay, let's see. I poked around a little and there's... You have to do it slowly and don't let it catch on fire? Wait, what's the... Why would you not... What's the point of a marshmallow if you're not going to let it catch on fire? That's like the point. And there's some sort of old no my path that starts to starts across from my campsite inside the ruined building with the trees going out of it doesn't look like anything horrible just stairs leading down i can handle stairs after i get my supplies together i'll follow the path and see where it leads yeah people either eat them golden brown or burnt yeah and i eat them burnt he wants me to do it like this Jesus, that scared the shit out of me. But it's not even getting cooked, chat. That's, 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 this is not a cooked marshmallow. I call shenanigans on that. I'm sorry, as a true marshmallow connoisseur, this, this is not acceptable. I call I call shenanigans. Ooh. Love the explosions going off in the background. Yeah, it's fine. The moon the moon's just shooting hurling asteroids at us all the time. I wouldn't worry about it. Relaxing. Sure. You know, we all have our different um, definitions of uh, relaxing, I guess. I do remember being fucking terrified of this planet for the longest time. Because of how unpredictable it can feel. Quantum moon's over there. I can hear it. Maybe relaxing to some people, but definitely not me. Surface integrity, 100%. We're doing fine. This planet's honestly pretty generous. The gas giant fucked me up big time. It's fucking scary. Everything in this game is scary. When you're first playing it, this game is terrifying. I mean, it still is kind of scary. You can play this game like a hundred times and still be hurtled into like horrible shit. Like like what just happened to me like ten minutes ago. Oh. That's a black hole. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not gonna worry about it. Dive into it. It's fine. Yeah, I mean it is fine. We will do that eventually. Not now. This is more know my stuff. So even though I do know like the inner mechanics of this game, it is still fun like re-experiencing the story because like I haven't like forgotten like any of the big big plot beats because it's like impossible to once you know them. Signal identified escape pod one. Escape pod one. This is the no my escape pod. 
Is everyone unharmed? No one was badly injured from the escape pod's impact. We're incredibly fortunate. This is good news, at least. Have we heard from escape pod 2 or 3? No, I'm unable to make contact. My equipment can hear the other two escape pods' distress signals, however. With any comfort, both pods must be structurally intact. I'll continue to call for them. My gratitude. If we can... Thatch, the moon is approaching again. Oh, no, not the moon. It's so loud. Oh, my God. Everyone brace yourself swiftly. The volcanic moon has returned. Be cautious of falling ash and debris. I remember when I was in first grade. I was so proud because I could spell the word debris. Like, that was, like, my one, like, thing that I had going for me in first grade. I was like, I can spell the word debris. And I know what it means. I felt very smart. I believe the moon has passed. This planet doesn't appear eager to have guests. We are certainly unwelcome on its surface. We need to find shelter, and quickly. The volcanic moon won't be gone for long. Streamer birdly moments? Kind of. I observed several promising sites below the surface, but we'll need to construct a way for everyone to climb down safely this cliff or climb down this cliff safely. Perhaps we could build platforms? Yeah, good luck with that. Good luck. Oh my god, it's just a fucking drop. Oh my god. I want to go inside, please. I want to see what's inside. I want to go in. Ah, here we are. An entrance. So, like, I never understood what, like, these were. I guess they're, like, power cores or something. It must be. It's some sort of, like, battery sort of situation going on here. Who knows? It's impossible to say. Begin flight lot. Escape Escape pod number one. Vessel has been mortally injured. Emergency sequence activated, awaiting departure from vessel. Launching escape pod three, two, and one. Collision imminent, preparing for impact. Scanning external environment. Scan complete. Minor structural instabilities detected. Pockets of breathable air detected. Adequate solar energy detected. Verdict hospitable. I think that's being very generous to this planet. Well, I want to see if I can catch this phenomenon happening in real time. I don't think it's going to let me. Oh, maybe this one hits. Maybe. Nah. We'll just do better to see it live anyway. What is this thing doing? Are you okay? Emergency escape hatch. fine. Oh. Well, that chunk just got warpified immediately. Yeah, maybe I will go into this black hole. Just for, just for fun. Just for funsies. Oh my god! Well, I'm going anyway. Alright, well, uh... Jesus Christ. I just got clonked by a fucking slab of terrain. Well, while we're here, I may as well go explore this thing while I can. That happened the first time I tried landing here. This is happened to most people when they first try to land here. You just sort of, um, oh, that's what I want to explore right there. 
they just shoom right on down to the black hole and they're like, oh. I guess I'm not coming here. Okay, we're coming in a little fast, a little fast, a little fast, a little fast. We're fine. Perfect. It stuck the landing. That's what I meant to do. That's what I meant to do. It's what, it's what I meant to happen. To the white hole station. If you fell through the black hole by accident, don't worry. You aren't the first. This warp tower can return you to Brittle Hollow. Every warp tower is tuned to a specific astral body. A tower's warp core a warp can only be used during the brief window when the tower is aligned with its corresponding astral body. In this case, Brittle Hollow. You must be standing on the warp platform on the floor during the this alignment to be warped. If you look up while the station is rotating, you can actually see the alignment happens. It's very cool. We can go down. Let me grab one of these first. Oh, this is tracking the actual alignment itself. Which means we've missed our window. So we're probably not going back there. This loop, unfortunately. Not that it matters. So what is this showing me exactly? Ember Twin Projection Stone? Oh, that's what I'm picking. That's what I'm holding. Are you trying to show me something? I can't remember what this actually is. Am I like re? Am I like reversing the? Uh... I don't remember. I generally don't remember what this does. Wait, where can I, uh... Where can I read the stone at? Yeah, what does this do? I actually don't remember at all. Oh, this... Oh, I see. You can change this way it's turning in case you missed. I think. Maybe. So you can always get back. We should be able to go back right now. Yeah. Whoa. So where am I now? I'm back on Little Hollow, of course, but... Well, ain't that neat. I'll just drop this. I don't want it. Warp Patrol... Return warp status charge. Step into warp receiver platform to activate return warp. Departure time, 10.53.17.202. Arrival time, 10.53.17.201. Oh, Jesus. What's, what's our in integrity looking like here? 99%? Okay, we're fine then. Not worried at all. Feldspar spare jetpack fuel. It's annoying to schlep across the planet to the ship if you can't use my jetpack, so I'm just leaving it here. I check with my little scout. I do I do too use it, Hornfells, you burnt marshmallow. And the scout's integrity reading says this piece of brittle hollow is as stable as any, but who knows? If the fuel's still around, feel free to use it. If not, well, wherever you're reading this note, I'm sure you've got bigger problems. You have no idea. You have no idea. Just drop it. The Hanging City. 50 meters below. Well, we're not getting there. At least not right now. I'm kind of hungry. Yeah, burnt marshmallow. Derogatory. That's a very endearing insult, though. Uh, like, on the list of things you can call someone as, like, you know, trying to be mean. That's not too bad at all. I I'd love if someone called me a burnt marshmallow. I mean, I guess snow leopards kind of are. They're kind of they're kind of burnt marshmallowy. To our friends on Brittle Hollow, I just warped here from the White Hole Station on the other side of Brittle Hollow's Black Hole. Our design worked. We've successfully recreated warp travel. This is wonderful news. I can't wait to see the warp tower. Although it's been a long time since I've jumped through a black hole. 
moldy marshmallow? What the? I'm not moldy. You're moldy. I don't know how close it is to what I know in his original design, but as long as we've got... As long as what we've built works, then I'm delighted. Yeah, good job. Wait, this can't be correct. Claire, have you seen the readings? If they're accurate, then they would violate causality. There must be an equipment error somewhere. I'm returning to Whitehall Station. If you and, if you and Root meet me there, we can run a full diagnostic and hopefully locate the problem. Don't tell Kasava. So there seems to be some problem with going back and forward. Some of are a marshmallow someone dropped on the ground and got all dusty. Yeah, and uh, hyenas are like worms that someone like drug through the mud and threw fur on, but only in like certain places. Raimi and I reviewed the records you sent, folk, and they are and they appear to show Nomai are arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow slightly before departing from the White Hill Station. Hard to get through for some, but squishy on the inside. Uh, you know, burnt and uh, smoky flavor. I understand it's exceedingly odd, but Clary and I have tested and retested the equipment, and the result is the same every time someone warps. The interval is incredibly minuscule, roughly 100 thousandth of a second. Do you suppose our instruments can't accurately measure time to such a small degree? As I've already told Raimi, these measurements can't be accurate. How can I know my arrive on Brittle Hollow before he or she ever stepped into the teleporter? The implications are absurd. Pocus Pi is confident the reading is inaccurate. She's kindly helping me attempt to recreate this phenomenon at the High Energy Lab. We're designing an experiment to take more data. At an update. Poke, the High Energy Lab is in the canyon on Ember Twins Equator. Come here at once. You need to see this. I don't disagree. It, it would mean I've inadvertently broken several fundamental theories regarding this universe. We would have to reconsider all of our beliefs about the nature of time. Yeah, wouldn't that suck? Oh, I, I hate it. I hate it when me and the homies like make a scientific discovery that breaks the entire universe. <laughs> happens happens way way too much. Hey, is there just perfectly toasted golden marshmallows? Uh, I guess it depends who you ask. Prickly. Oh, we, we put on we put on the the shiny Slurpee filter. All right, enough of that. So people are coming, people are arriving at this station before they're leaving the other station. Oh, is it time already? Oh, come on, dude. Can you give me like five more minutes? I want to roll here. Has anyone, has anyone observed the phantom moon that sometimes greets us in the night sky? Your thoughts interest me. I'm interested in your playful moon. Is it much like its violent friend, Hollow's Lantern? Imagine if there were two volcanic moons. Hypothesis. There can exist too much lava. Yeah, yeah, moon. The moon isn't volcanic. Sometimes it leaves its, its friend, Hollow Lanterns, for nights at a time. The nights the moon circles this planet appear random. It seems to travel as it likes. I compliment your eyes. How do you imagine it disappears? Hypothesis. Could it be a shift in the light spectrum? No, it's not that simple. Suppose this moon is too shy to show its face. Oh, the moon is shy. Okay, I wanted to get that conversation log actually completed. The goo suit? Goo suit? Bonk? Bonk moment? I feel like I have to bonk you for that. I don't, I don't know. I don't trust you. Don't question mark me. Is there, is there literally a suit made of goo bonk the game? Mm, I don't know. I think you're kind of sussy. You're a little sussy. Who isn't a little sussy these days? The one being weird? I'm not being weird. You're the one who took it weird. It's so bright. 
I feel like my eyes are getting burned off every time. Squint. I read that as squirt. I want more grapes. Ow. I just don't know what DLC for this game is going to be like. Like, this game does have a very conclusive ending. So the fact that there could be, like, more, I don't I don't quite understand, like, what it could even be about. I simply don't understand. Hole station. <laughs> Quantum moon. The dome on Brittle Hollow observed a phantom moon that would sometimes appear in the sky. The north pole of Brittle Hollow is covered in snow and ice. There is a unique, there is uniquely shaped Nomai ruin on the surface. The Nomai were able to warp here from White Pole Station. This is where they first recreated warp technology. Jesus. Every Nomai warp tower is tuned to a specific astral body. Choose a tower you must be standing in the warp platform during the tower's alignment. Yeah, yeah. Nobody no the Nomai noticed something strange. Warped objects appear appeared to arrive at the receiver in Brittle Hollow slightly before they departed the White Hole Station. The negative time interval between the object arriving and departing was incredibly minuscule. The Nomai were skeptical if their equipment could even measure time in such a small degree. The negative time interval measured at the White Hole Station was further investigated at the High Energy Lab in the canyon at Ember Twins Equator. I'm sure it's fine. Ryback discovered an old Nomai path near their campsite on the equator. The path starts inside the ruined building with the trees growing out of it. Neat. How neat. Escape pod one. One of the three Nomai escape pods that crashed in our solar system. All three escape pods were launched from something called the Vessel, which was badly damaged. They made a shelter in Brittle Hollow. Hole station? Every station is a whole station when I'm there. Acha cha. All right, let's go back there. Let's try knocking these planets out one at a time. Bonk! You can't bonk me for that. Why are you bonking me? Why are you booing me? I'm right. Oh, we're coming in kind of fast. Uh oh. Uh oh. Slow down. Oh no. Ay Shit. Oh no. That's my fault. That's my that's that's on me. I just destroyed our ship. Let's repair let's repair that now I'm thinking about it. It's fine. It's everything's fine. All right, so let's go try and find this path on the equator. I, I always had trouble remembering where this was. Oh, shit. Oh, the Hanging City. Oh, this place is so cool. It's so scary, though. I couldn't imagine living on top of a white hole. The Southern Observatory. And it just remakes itself. So many cool things like that in this game. Like, little cool things. I feel like it'd be really bad on the knees. Right. Like, wouldn't you feel that? Like, all the time? Like, wouldn't wouldn't the gravity be, like, constantly pulling you down? You know, it's weird, actually. The gravity is less on this planet than it is in uh, Timber Hearth. By 0.1 degree. By 0.1 magnitude. So scary. I wonder why. The shuttle is currently resting at the quantum moon. You'd be spaghetti. Activate the gravity cannon. 
Call the shuttle home. Let's bring the shuttle home. Hey, there we go. That easy. It's a remarkably undense black hole. I prefer my holes to be like pretty dense. <laughs> All right, no more. Okay, no more. Okay, no more. No, no more hole jokes. I've, uh, I've, I've, I've went through my my allotted hole jokes. There's, I can't do anymore. That is on you. I'm here after watching it wander the skies for so long. I'm about to stand for the first time on the quantum moon. As expected, my shuttle has landed at the moon's south pole. I will make the remainder of my journey on foot. We don't know why the quantum moon always welcomes this visitor at the south pole. That's just that, just that this is true. As a child, I considered such unknown sinister. Though now I understand they bear no ill will. The universe is as we are. Okay, no more. We'll make another one in five minutes. That's not true. I'm not gonna make a, I'm not gonna make a single a single hole joke. I'm ready. Aw, Solanum. Yeah, no more. Anytime I see a hole from now on, I'm just gonna be like, oh, it's a hole, and I'm gonna move on. I'm not gonna make a joke about it. I promise. You're allowed to, like, say horrible things to me. Did something just fall above me? Crossroads. Can I make this jump? Can I make this jump? I can totally make this jump, right? Absolutely. Easy. Where's my ship? Why, why is my ship not on the planet anymore? Oh no. My ship got slurped up by, uh, by the hole. Well. That's fine, I guess. I, I didn't need it anymore. I mean, I definitely would have liked it. <laughs> I, I just noticed my ship was uh, 22 kilometers away and I was like, huh, that does not seem right. Interesting. Yeah, so I, I definitely obliterated myself in a first place game. So like, ooh, cannon, and I just shot myself immediately. Oh, like I just did this now. That's gonna be bad timing. Okay, we're fine. This takes us back to the planet. What's the right one do? Let's shoot myself again. Ooh, that's always so scary. What does the right switch do? Did it do anything? Oh, it stops us, I think. Or not? Uh, oh, we're, we're coming back down. Hold on. Let me shoot myself one more time. Now you definitely keep going. Bye. It's just like if I walked out of this, I'm dead. Like that's so scary to me. Like the, the concept of that. Uh, I'm shooting myself into the moon, or I'm shooting myself into the sun. Let's not do that. But honestly, where else can I go? Where's the quantum moon right now? I could I could try doing th what they did and shoot myself into the moon, but that's that's fucking hard. I wonder if anyone's like actually managed that. Oh, thank you for the pets. Hello. Thank you, Goop. Tend to be everywhere, I would think. I need, I need to get out of this loop. Let me... Oh, God. I'm technically everywhere. I'm... 
I too have like quantum physics built into my like very DNA. I am everywhere and nowhere at the same time. Wherever you're not looking, I'm there. Does that does that make you scared? Does it make you afraid of me? I'm always watching you. Has anyone seen has anyone here seen Malignant? I won't spoil it, but like if you've seen that movie, that's that's that that's my relationship to you. If you know, you know. I'm just like that movie. You're like a foot tall? I'm like two feet tall. Get it right. Hey, if you're gonna call me short, at least be accurate about it, okay? I am at least two and a half feet. I'm, I'm at least two and a half feet. I don't know. Well, then I'm not gonna spoil it then. How that hurt. That was honestly one of the, like, the stupidest movies I've ever seen. But in like a very good way. Oh, first try. Explains all the back pains you've been having. Well, that's because you're pregnant and you just don't know it yet, but. Th that's what that is. Oh god. Huh? Back pains. Yeah, I want more nonsense horror movies too. Like, I don't. Uh, this is coming. This is coming from someone who actually really likes like some of the more like artsy like horror movies that come out recently. And like, I'm glad. I'm glad they've gotten like a lot of attention. Like, I think. Tired of all the horror movies that make me think. I mean, I think. Movies that make you think is objectively a good thing. But sometimes it's good to like you know. You get watch some like real schlocky stuff too. I think they're both valid. I'm just glad it's not one thing or the other. I think a variety is the spice of life, as they say. Wait, so where's gravity right now? This way? Oh, I see. Can I make this jump? Hey. What's that? The only way I can I can see malignant like being made was if if James Wan was like, "Hey, you know me? How about you give me a budget and don't ask any questions?" Like that's the only thing I can think of. Because if, if 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 they like if they like pitch that movie, like plot B for plot for plot B, there's no way that movie would have gotten made. Ghost matter where? Oh, right there. Well, that's not good. That's kind of um, if you are, I need to go. I just jump over it. Oh my god. Platforming in this game is so scary. Like, it, it feels like I'm going to die. What's gonna really suck? I just saw the quantum moon and I looked away for two seconds and it was gone. It's, it, that's still never not gonna be cool to me. Never. Like, it's one of those things where, like, it makes you double take. And, like, on a first playthrough, because, like, the the brilliance of this game is that you can learn stuff. Oh, shit, my fuel is low. Like, you, you can, like, unravel mysteries in, like, any order. Right? Like, the way you learn things in this game can be... What the fuck? Can you let me out? It can be completely different from how someone else might have, right? 
Oh, can I not get over here now? Can I like, can I like a Super Mario 64 long jump my way out across this, you think? I'm gonna try. <gasps> Yahoo! Ooh. Ow! I mean, it kind of hurt, but I made it. Like, I, like, almost killed me. Crossroads. Ow. Wait, hold on. Chat, here's what we do. We sit here. We wait. Wait, I need more fuel, though. Be welcomed into this place. Above you stands the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you're a mistake, if you're making your first pilgrimage to the quantum moon, ascend these stairs and obtain the last of the knowledge you need for your journey. I need. I need to come back here with more fuel. Let's see what's gonna happen, chat. Uh, this this slab I'm standing on. It's currently at 2% integrity, so we're about to fall. But since I have the magnet boots on, like the Legend of Zelda magnet boots. I'm fine. We're going to warp through and I can actually get up here. But I might not have enough fuel. Because then I'll be using oxygen. And I don't have enough of that either. Am I falling or is that slab falling? I think the slab is falling. Yeah, we're fine. What if you turned around in game and Super Supermodel was standing behind you? Has anyone made like a like a horror game about that? Like like V like a VTuber horror game? Like imagine if you're just like 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 a streamer game where like you're streaming or like you're not streaming. And like you hear, you feel something tap your shoulder, and you turn around. And it's your VTuber model, and it's like, oh, you think you can just pretend to be me? You think you can just take over my life and make it your personality? You thought wrong, bitch. And they just snap your neck. SCP tuber, when you stream a game, you stream in real life. Yeah, I'm, I'm writing the creepypasta right now. D nobody take my ideas. I need a meteor to hit this to hit this uh, piece of land, like right now, please. Because my oxygen is just ticking away. I need it, please. Have mercy on me. Hey, can you hold your breath for like two seconds? Three minutes of oxygen remaining. That's not enough time to do what I want to do, I think. Unless there's a tree up here? That would be awesome, but... Okay, so is this like one of the last slabs attached or what? Hello? Hit me, please. Oh, is that it? Am I falling? No, I'm still up here. It's gonna scare me once it happens. Find 11 pages before the snap tuber kills you. Did anyone here actually play Slender when that came out? Because I did. I never beat it. It was too hard. Slender was too hard. I never found all the pages. Oh, come on. Fall already, please. So I don't actually know how, um... Brittle Hollow works in the sense of like, I don't know how the game determines where the meteors hit. Because I think it's just chance. Not to be confused with my persona, chance, but like, I think it's like random chance if it gets hit, if it gets hit or not. Okay, so you're gonna knock that one down, but not me. Your gamer credentials on thin ice. What do you mean? How are my gamer credentials on thin ice? Okay, this is ridiculous. Shoot me. Shoot me, please. 
Please, mommy. Please, mommy, uh, moon. Mommy, meteor, moon. Please shoot me. I mean, the surface integrity is at 2%. Oh, shit. I hope there's a tree up here. I really do. I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna live. I'm dying. I can't make it. God, that's fucked up looking. It feels like the game took literally every- every panel before this one. So now I'm gonna die. That's fine, though. Bye. Wow, the way it's just orbiting the white hole in the middle, or the black hole in the middle. That's so cool, actually. Am I falling now? I'm falling, yay! But it's too late. Yeah, as soon as I got over here, I literally died. Okay, well. That was literally the worst timing. You know, I could always just come here later, too. Yeah, I don't know if that's random chance or not. I'll be honest. I never knew that. Oh, I need to check my mail. I'll be right back. Hold on. I'm going to pause the game first. So I'm not running, running the timer here. I need to check my kitty mail. My kitty cat mail. Pause. Pause? Okay, I'm here. Does the timer run on Timber Hearth before you leave? Uh, in the f uh, you mean like the very start of the game? As of right now, yes. But when you start a new when you start a new save file, I believe it's like infinite. Because they don't want to rush you through the tutorial at all. Ooh, woo, Asriel Dreamer. Hi. Hi, I'm a big fan. I love to work in Undertale. Great stuff. Imagine doing the tutorial and the world just explodes. Yeah, I think that's what they wanted to avoid. So I think it, I think they I think they the first loop doesn't exist. That would be funny, though. Could you imagine? Let's see. A Domai named Sol Solanum landed on a shuttle. Landed a shuttle on the quantum moon. A Domai named Solanum landed her shuttle at the moon's south pole. It prepared to make the rest of the journey on foot. Visitors to the quantum moon always arrive at the south pole for reasons unknown to the Nomai. Cool. This tower, located on Brittle Hollow's equator, held useful information or useful knowledge for Nomai embarking on their first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon. A huge cylindrical structure that generates a strong upward gravity force, gravity field. I recall a Nomai shuttle from the Quantum. I recall a Nomai shuttle from the Quantum Moon. There's more to explore here. So it seems. Yes, yeah, so this big web is just like full of just like. Fun secret goodies. 
And it's fun, because I remember, um, as someone who's beaten this game, I remember the, the whys and the wheres, but I don't always remember, um, I don't, I don't quite remember all the hows. Which, it's very cool. Alright, let's go to, uh, let's go to Giant Steep. Fuck it. Most timers don't start until the stash back days? Yeah. What's the what's the speed run for this game looking like right now? Cause I know I know you can beat this game in the first loop if you know what you're doing, obviously. Which is you know maximum twenty two minutes. Ooh, actually, can I explore this? Ooh, can I land on this? Like first try. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. No promises. Yes. Yes. Current world record is eight minutes and twenty-two seconds. Jesus Christ. Look at that, like a glove. So this is what we see break at the start of every loop. Next to a uh, giant steep. That's cool. Also, hello gaming lord. Are you a lord of gamers? As opposed to a gamer king, you're a lord. Eight minutes and 20, I can't even imagine. Eight minutes and 22 seconds, that's like nothing. That's so quickly. Holy shit, calm down. Launch module. Let's see. Eight minutes and 44 seconds. Oh yeah, 22 seconds difference, don't worry. Gamer that owns land, dude. We love, we love, we love a house. We love, we love a house owner. Congratulations. I love the music in this game. It's so, it, it's so like mysterious. Mallow, my better fifty percent. Cassava is sending in the last of the cannon components. Soon, relatively speaking, we'll know the eye's precise location. Gasava tells me that he and the construction and the construction yard crew have determined a power setting we are not under any circumstances to go above. I see. And am I right to think that consequently we'll be ignoring that setting? Absolutely. I can posit with nearly 100 percent certainty our friends will have accounted for the part of nature, so I suggest we do. Given the orbital probe cannon, or giving the orbital probe cannon. All the power it can structurally withstand creates the greatest chance of finding the eye of the universe. Yes, the probe must travel as fast as it can, as far as it can. I'll make some adjustments. So this is the uh, this is this is the probe cannon. This is what we see. Shoot a probe at the start of every loop. And what, what's really cool is that at the start of every loop, the direction in which the probe is shot is different every time. It's never the same. The thought of concluding our elders' curious and challenging, curious and challenging search increases my heart's temperature, my love. Okay, get a room. Dragon Garland, hello. I think it's neat that Nomai are all named after planets, and your are all named after plants, and your race is all rocks. It is cool. I, I love I love a good like naming convention, right? Whoa. Yeah, don't let your dreams be dreams. Just do it. If persona draw over, my persona telling your persona to just do it. 
What's what's Shia LaBeouf doing these days? Does anybody know? This is the probe launcher. It has now been obliterated. Well, not yet, actually. Cannon aligned with randomly selected probe trajectory. Gravity field activated. Five minutes, 17 seconds ago. Request to launch probe received from Ash Twin Project. Ahoy, ahoy. I love the Nomai's, like, weird, like, goop. Last time I heard about Shia LaBeouf, he was plagiarizing Khan Space Twinks for an art installation. Oh, no. Say it ain't so. That's a bummer. Begin launch log. Orbital probe cannon. Launch request received. Probe launch successful. Probe tracking module receiving data from probe. Warning, orbital probe cannon structural compromise during launch. Damage to multiple modules detected. So I wonder why the uh, probe cannon only launches at the start of a loop, I wonder. Like if the Nomai are thousands and thousands of years old, why'd it only just now happen? Much to think about. Damage report. Severe structural stress detected. Assessing damage to modules. Control module. Intact. No structural damage. Launch module. Viewport window fractured. Module exposed to the vacuum of space. Probe tracking module. Missing. I see. Yeah, is Shia LaBeouf plagiarizing furry Twitter is not a sentence I expected to really, um, hear. Very strange. I remember seeing this one Shia LaBeouf movie when I was younger, like in high school. Maybe even before that, actually. I don't quite remember. But the entire premise is that Shia LaBeouf's character was on house arrest. Control module. So he would spend his time, like, spying on his neighbors. And, like, he had, he had figured... He was paranoid that one, like, one of his neighbors was, like, a murderer. So he was trying to convince everyone that his neighbor, like, killed someone. And, like, nobody would believe them. Disturbia. Yeah, it was called Disturbia. And I think at the end of the movie, he was, like, actually right about it. I don't remember how that movie ended, actually. I don't remember if the... I don't remember if the, the plot of the movie, like, made Shia LaBeouf's characters right, but... It doesn't matter. I remember watching that movie a ton when I was little, though. Like, did anyone else have just, like, a handful of movies they just watched, like, over and over? And not, like, kid stuff, but just, like, like, like... I mean, everyone had movies that you watched over and over when you were a kid, right? But, like, as, like, a teenager. Okay, I'm just free-floating in space. This is fine. This is fine. I just want to get over here. I'm losing it. Wait, where's the one with the, uh... Oh, my God, I'm right next to the planet. Oh, there's the moon! Damn it, it's gone now, right? No, oh, it's still there. I hate this. I hate, like... Yeah, I'm afraid of getting slooped again. I'd like to avoid that if I can. Dude, The Last Unicorn was such a fucking weird movie. Like, not in a bad way, either. It was just very strange. Did you know you maintain observation with your probe? That's that's like it's the whole gimmick, yeah. Yeah, that that's like that's like how you do it. You can either you can either maintain observation with your probe or you can take a picture while you're flying. So that way it never goes away. Cause otherwise when you try and fly into the moon, 
it goes away as soon as you like break orbit because you're not seeing it anymore, I guess. Yeah, that's like that's like an intended thing. There's a whole there's a whole like training thing the game puts you under. We have you have to use your camera to like solve puzzles. Probe tracking module. This is the one that broke off. What's the, what's the one with the broken glass that I can't get into? This. So it's like this way. Fly into the moon is my favorite Sinatra song. Ah, it's beautiful stuff. Fly into the moon. And let me get yanked by an orbit. Ow. Oh, here it is. I'm in. Oh, stop. 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 Stop moving. I'm moving too much too fast. There's too much going on. Oh. Smack my feet down. Alright, we're in. Alright, I already read this one. Imagine, Privet. The probe tracking module will be the first to know the coordinates of the eye. We'll be the first to see them. I'm honored and also terrified. You won't ask the orbital probe cannon to use so much power that it breaks, will you? Yeah, of course not. Yeah, fret not, my nervous friend. We only need to fire the probe once. Anyway, so who minds if it compromises the orbital probe cannon's structural integrity slightly? That's true, actually. If you only need to shoot it once, why, why care about if it breaks or not? I would mind Mallow. I would mind because we won't be able to we won't be capable of receiving our probe's data if the probe tracking module is destroyed. Then put the probe tracking like not on the thing that shoots it. Huh, where is this at, I wonder? Yeah, like like my my honest opinion is that why why put why put the module that you need to track data from connected to the thing that shoots it at such a high power that it might break like wouldn't you want the data to be transmitted like somewhere remotely that seems like a design oversight by the nomai in my opinion and maybe that's intentional maybe 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 they got a little cocky but I love how the no even the Nomai's glass is textured. Like, why do that? Like, who cares? They were very... The Nomai were very specific in, like, their aesthetic choices. Which is a neat observation, I suppose. Oh, my God! Well, so if, if, the, if the third module broke off, there's only really one place it can be. It's in Giant Steep, baby. I'm in. Falls into a hole. No, no more, no more holes. We're as a society, we've evolved past the need for that. And there's the three modules. The broken remains of a Nomai space station in orbit around Giant Steep. There are three access ways branching off from the central hub area. The probe cam was created to find the precise location of the eye of the universe. The Nomai pushed the orbital cannon above its maximum power setting to create the greatest chance of finding the eye of the universe. The control module recently received a request from the Ash Twin Project to launch the probe. The cannon was aligned with a randomly selected probe trajectory. The probe successfully launched, but the cannon's structural integrity was compromised in the process. Damage is detected in multiple modules. The launch module is, ma is badly damaged, but its projection pool is still intact. A Nomai named Mallow it argued that it won't matter if the cannon's structural integrity was compromised, since you only need to fire the probe once. I agree. A Nomai named Privet 
countered that they wouldn't be capable of receiving the probe's data if the probe's data if the probe tracking module is destroyed. One of the orbital probe cannons three modules. The probe tracking module is receiving data from its launch probe. Any Nomai aboard the probe tracking module will be the first to see the coordinates of the eye of the universe. A Nomai computer reports the probe tracking module is missing. Let's see, I saw it through a Nomai projection pool. It looks like the module is underwater. I can see purple electricity outside the viewport. Wow, I wonder where that is. Guess we'll never know. See ya. Whoa, 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 calm down. Slow your roll. This space, this, this little dinky spaceship made of like wood and like some metal maybe. It is a little unruly. Holy shit. I mean, who would have thought, right? Okay, calm down. Okay, s gentle. That's gentle enough. We're live. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. We're live. All right, so let's go um, back on the equator. Okay, I just gave myself an actual concussion from uh, high velocity head butting myself into a rock wall. It's fine. Parthians are very sturdy. That one just popped. Oh, that's a that's a hole. That, that's a black hole. Almost did it again. I literally almost did the thing I just did again. You know, actually, I want to be in my ship. I don't feel comfortable doing this. Because, like, what if? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh no! Wait, this is savable. This is still savable. It's still savable. It's not savable anymore. God damn it. Can I just go back in? Can I just shoot? I, I can't just shoot my. You can't go through a white hole, can you? I don't know. I don't know how space physics works, works chat, but. Alright, let's at least land somewhere then. If we're gonna be stuck here for the rest of the loop, we might as well do something with it. Here we go. It's a one-way street. Fuck. Why? I think it shouldn't be like that. Wait, I'm just I'm just I'm just projecting this room. Right? Just the not broken version? No, it's different. It's not, it, it's so fucked up how much we know about space. And yet, at the same time, so little. Oh, this is this is the observatory I was trying to get into. Like, in a hundred years, like... How much are we going to know about space? Like, aren't we... Aren't we doing, like... I mean, I, I mean, obviously... As cool as space is and space travel and the, and the and the idea of space travel, it shouldn't be our priority, right? Right now, like we have things on this planet that we need to focus on, of course. But like, I don't know. There's there's just so much that we just don't know about anything. First poker mission to the moon. Haven't I read this? No, I haven't. I'm at the shuttle. I'm ready to make my first pilgrimage to the quantum moon. That's exciting. You're almost ready. But there's still one more rule you need to learn. Come see me at the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. The tower's on the opposite side of Brittle Hollow. If you if follow the past west to the crossroads, you can reach the tower from there. So that's the tower I was sitting at for like five minutes lastly waiting. I'm gratitude for the direction spells. I'll see you soon. It just never happened because... Fuel low. Oh, fuck. Well, I'm boned. 
Yeah, if we could get the rock we're currently living on a little more stable first, that'd be awesome. Wow, look at that. The empty expanse of just nothing. How terrifying is that? Uh, uh. Well, now we're down to oxygen's propellant, but my it's my only my only hope right now is that my ship gets sucked into the white hole and then I can go back to my ship and get more fuel, but I don't think it's going to happen. Something tells me I've missed the opportunity. Oh, this is this is the probe launcher itself. Wait, is there fuel in here by chance? Worth a try. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, here it is. Here's how we call it back, right? Oh, I, I just hate fooling around in the nothing. It's so scary. It, this game is, like, so actually scary. Stop, dude. Stop, stop, stop. Bring, call it back. It doesn't work? Why? Why why can't I call it back? Oh, there we go. It's going the wrong direction. Okay, no fuel though. We have oxygen now, but there's no fuel in here. We I just broke the, I just broke the shuttle because I shot it into debris, I think. Do it again. Now we're just spinning. Oh, this sucks. Untranslated. No, I've translated that before. Can you is there a way to, uh, I thought they patched in a way to, uh, push the loop forward on your own. Like, isn't, wasn't there a meditate button? Is that not a thing? If you're in space, I wonder. I think you can only do that when you're, like, in, you gotta earn that. Oh, do you have to talk to, uh, The, I can't remember the name. The one, the one on uh, Giant Steep. Because they're the one who teaches you how to meditate. I guess you have to learn it first. That's fine. Yeah, Gab bro. Gab bro. Well, I'm just going to kill myself. Fuck it. I die. Bye. God, it's so grim. What a grim... What a... What a... Uh, what a sometimes very grim game. I wonder how I wonder how much the DLC is going to be as well. I don't think I don't think they've released like a price point or anything. I was trying to see if you could see the uh, the tracking module actually float into uh, Giant Steep. I don't think you can though. I think it just happens and you don't see it. Nah. You know, let's go there next. Let's go talk to, Gra to Gabbro. Let's go say hi. Let's go say hi to our aquatic biome friend. God, what if what if our what if our universe was this small? Or our galaxy was a small. We could just go places. Like, what if you could just like go to Mars, like as a day trip? Like, I don't know how the Harthians like 
mentally deal with, like, everything being so close. Like, I feel like it'd be terrifying. I mean, I guess they'd also get used to it. Oh my god, slow down. Holy shit, Casey, what are you doing? I mean, it's just water, it's fine. But I could have landed in an island, and I wouldn't have... I would have been fucked. Okay. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. All right, so this place has double gravity. Hey. Hey, Gabbro. You, uh, enjoying your life here? Uh, next to, uh, the, the gobbledygook. Nice, it's you. Good you made it here in one piece. The first solo launch is a doozy, isn't it? So, hey, don't freak out or anything, but lately I keep, like, dying repeatedly. I don't know, it's pretty weird. What about you? Have you died lately, or is it just me? Nope, <laughs> it's me too. We're in a time loop. Time has been behaving unusual lately. Yeah, time loop makes sense. Cool. <laughs> You're taking it pretty well. Right back at ya. Personally, I like new experiences. I've never been in a time loop before. I mean, I don't think I've been in a time loop before this one. Looks like you and I are the only ones who can tell time's gone on weird. I tried radioing Hornfells and asking if they died too, but they thought I was being metaphorical. Even if I tell Hornfells about time loop, they never remember by the next one. They don't realize anything's different. Here's another weird one for you. Every time I die, all my memories from that loop replay back to me. I'm pretty sure it's related to this big Nomai statue I found on one of the other islands. I was looking at it, and the statue opened its eyes and started glowing. It replayed my memories like I'd seen them through my own eyes. Just like what happens each time I die. Me too! Same hat. Me too, huh? The, nat the no my statues must have something to do with why we're the only ones aware of the time loop. So, no glowing statue, no time loop awareness? Probably. Whoa, Raichu, hello! What the heck? Thank you for the raid. We're playing Outer Wilds, hello. Wow, is that the, is that the second best Pokemon I see? It is. First best is Lucario. No, no offense. I'm sure you understand. <laughs> I think I think Lucario is objectively the best Pokemon. Shaking my head. Oh, you'll be okay. Thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate it. How was your stream? What were you playing? How's space treating you? I'll talk to you later. Or does that put Weasel? Weasel's like number like. I don't want to talk about Weasel right now. You could just say you're gay. Marbles? Marbles are pretty good. So we're our best Pokemon? What are you, a furry? That's a that's a furry ant if I've ever heard one. I I wouldn't know anything about that. Is that tornado gonna go right above my head? Uh-oh. 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 My ship! I need to get 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 my ship! But hi everyone. This is uh, welcome, Lucario Enjoyer. I've only played um. I only played like the first three generations of Pokemon. So basically, if a Pokemon's not cute, I probably don't know what it is, what it's called. Like my exposure to Pokemon names is like the first two generations and a little bit of the third. And then after that, if it's not like, if it's not smooshable, I kind of don't care. Like, why am I going to take brain power to remember Pokemon names if they're not like, you know. Cute. Good everyone, welcome. Welcome to Ghost Maw Kitty Stream. I'm playing Outer Wilds because I forgot there's DLC coming out. <laughs> and now I have to play it again because I don't remember. Well, I remember a lot, but I need to refresh everything. Listen, we don't talk about that one CSI episode. I told everyone you're you're very cool, so there's a lot of pressure on you. I don't feel pressure. I don't know what pressure is. You know, here's a gauge of whether or not you belong in this stream. How do you like your marshmallows? 
Do you like them only slightly golden or do you like them like charcoal? There's only one right answer. If your answer isn't you burn it to a crisp and then peel off the black layer and eat it, your answer is wrong. And if you don't like that, I'm sorry. It's the truth. You're not valid unless you like your marshmallows burnt. Yes, the, the charcoal marshmallows are the best ones. They're so ooey and gooey. Shimmer, you're alone as opinion. I'm not. I'm literally not. I like a burnt marshmallow. It tastes good. Oh, hold on. You freak. Hey. Come on, there's no need to be mean. Okay, we can't go in there. Not sure if I want them to actually be 50% carbon. You're weak. You're weak. You are weak. And if you ever watched a cyclone for so long, it started to hypnotize you? Whoa. Weirdo. I'm telling you, they'll pull you in a trance if you stare at them long enough. Alright, you're, you're a freak. You're a freak freak. I'm leaving you. Is that how you get cancer? Um, I don't know about that. I, 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 I think that's just, I think that's just a, a conspiracy. Gun B9 and Gun W2. Those people have like this almost the exact same name. Is that Thing 1 and Thing 2 or are those bots? Never had a s'more to this day. S'mores are like, uh, you know, I don't, s'mores are really good. A good s'more is like, it's almost illegally good. S'more, okay, so a s'more is like, I guess I never thought about it. I guess I never thought that, um, s'mores being like, oh, thank you for the pets. I guess I never thought about s'mores being like an American thing. But it's like graham crackers, marshmallow, like a full block of like Hershey's chocolate. And it has to be Hershey's chocolate specifically. If it's not Hershey's chocolate, then it's not a real s'more. As kind of mediocre as Hershey's chocolate is, that is what makes a good s'more. I'm, I'm of that faith. Alpha Outlaw, thank you for following. Welcome to the kitty corner. I am I cannot park. I'm fucking up tremendously. You know what? I won't land here then. I'll leave. I think they're invented by the Boy Scouts. I was a Boy Scout. I could do a lot of cool stuff. I got so many merit badges when I was little. And then I quit. I was only in Boy Scouts because my friends were. And then they quit. And I was like, okay, well, I guess I'm done. Can you tie a knot? Yes, I can. I, c I wouldn't be able to tell you what a knot, what kind of knot it is, but I could tie one. Ah! I missed. The slip knot? Yo, I love that band. Why am I being bonked? Explain. Why Why the bonkage? Statue workshop. Oh, we can't get in. What do you mean, hmm? Get your mind out of the gutter, chat. What, I can't, I can't say the K word anymore? Is that not allowed? Okay. Sorry. I'll never. I'll. I'll have, I guess I have to choose my words more carefully. People are impossible. 
I feel like I can't say anything anymore. Stop censoring me. They're going to test the memory statues tonight. Flock says it could be dangerous, so we can't come. But what if we didn't use the door and snuck in the other way? Does anyone want to? Flock specifically told us not to do that. Everyone to see this has two, Lammy, but that's a huge risk to take. We probably shouldn't. We definitely should. Yeah, oh my god, I, I can't believe. Oh my god, cancel culture. Wah, wah, wah. Cancer culture, cancel culture, these nuts. How about that? What do you have to say about that? Take that. Checkmate. Open the giant steep, friends. I'm excited for you to meet the statues. If I'm not in my dwelling, I'm likely in my workshop below, inside the island. That's too far. I really want to be sucked by one of these tornadoes, because it'd be cool. I just want to show off what happens when you, like, um... ...can stick yourself to the ground. One of these patented tornado safety apparatuses. Yeah, I want to be sucked. I want that... I want that vortex suck. Wait, here we go. I'm in. And we're in fucking space. You want to what? I want the vortex suck. I want I want this tornado to give me the grapefruit technique. Okay, we're good. Is that too far? So actually, I don't remember how to get to, uh... Oh, please go away. So I know there is an underwater entrance, but I don't remember where it is. That's the thing. Exclamation point grapefruit? No, no, no. Come on. Oh! Oh, wait, it's right here. Smile. I did it. There's jellyfish down there. Creepy. I made it. Can we get a grapefruit point reward? Uh, what will that do? Will it will it just play the noise? Cause we've unlocked that door now. Will it just play the horrendous sound that woman makes when she's uh, demonstrating? Cause no. I think that might actually be too usable. You think the water feels thick because of the gravity? I don't know. Uh, what? That's a really good observation, actually. What would, what would, what would water feel like in like height and gravity like this? Like, what would it feel like to swim? Yarrow, would you like to kindly step back so Daz is closest to the statue? When pairing, the statue will choose whoever's in closest proximity. Is it TOS? It's Sex Ed. Okay. And also, it's Twitch. Do you, do you, that's, that's running on the assumption that Twitch has, that Twitch has, like, reasonable and sensible uh, TOS. That's a reach. There's a there's a well intentioned but probably not true leap of logic. See how its eyes have opened? That tells us the statue is paired with Daz. Now, no matter where he is in the star system, Daz's statue will record his memories and send them to the Ash Twin Project. This is extraordinary sculpting work, Flox. Yo, Flox is a kick ass name, Flox. He has outdone himself again, hasn't he? And now that we have our first successful pairing, we can test a memory storage prototype. Each statue will send a signal, a single Nomai's memories to his or her own statue within Ash Twin. 
Each storage unit will be equipped with a mask and the storage the statue's counterpart, which will be able to send those memories back to the corresponding Nomai. That's so that's so like I have mixed feelings about that sort of thing. Like it's like cheating, right? Like you send your memories to like a to a fucked up like a fucked up place unreachable by like space and time. And then said place sends them back to you. It's like knowing stuff from the future. Like, that's cheating. You can't do that. I mean, I realize I'm doing it too, but... We're cheating. I've installed the mask inside Ash Twin Project Flox. They look beautiful. Although I do feel as though I'm being observed. I mean, you are. It's comforting to know the statues will not pair until the project succeeds. Otherwise, I imagine the project, the experience would be hard to endure. Ideally, ideally, they'll only need to activate once the project succeeds as a safety measure. However, the statues will also activate in the event of equipment failure. They will? Why is that? If anything goes wrong with the Ash Twin project, the statues and their mass will make us aware of the situation and enable us to fix it. Otherwise, it would be possible for us to be permanently unaware of the problem. I haven't thought of that. What a profoundly horrific fate that would be. So, like, it's a thing that only happens once, I guess, but even then. I mean, I guess it's a good thing that they can, can, like, avoid cataclysmic failure. So, there's one, two, three masks online. <laughs> I'm online. Me and the boys logging into Xbox Live to play Halo 2 in 2005. This is what the party looks like. Just fun things to do with your bros. Alright, so I need to get up there, I think. Yeah, hacking relativity for fun and profit. God, Giant's Deep is so scary. Like, a water planet with, like, double the gravity. So, like, if you fall in, you're just, like, fucked. That's not cool. I would say that's even, like, the opposite of cool. Alright, so I need to get up there, but I can't yet. I have to wait until this, uh, this, this island gets sucked. I, I can't boost up there on my own. I should probably I should probably refill my ship then, while I'm waiting for that. Oh! Well, no, because the water could be would be more dense, so it would push back against you. I can't even I can't even read that sentence. I think physics physics are dumb and also fake. I don't believe they're real. Because the water would be more dense. It's just word salad. I'm sorry. If you try to explain physics to me and it's more than like a line long, I'm not going to read it. It's impossible for me to parse it. I just can't do it. Oh, wait, is it happening? Are you coming this way? Please? Oh, it's definitely coming this way. Yes? Oh, God. Okay. I'm up here now. Now we wait to, now we wait to gently float back down. Gently. Gently, I say. Alright, now we're gonna hit the water. Splash. Alright, now we're fine. I'm curious. Is sending a being's memories back in time the same, the same as sending the being itself back in time? Ooh. There's a question for you. 
As an example, if we were to send my memories back in time, is that the same as sending me back in time? Not my physical body, but my essence. I imagine they're two different actions. Wouldn't both actions be effectively the same? Suppose that time was being rewritten. I believe this is different than receiving memories from what is effectively the future. But isn't the end result identical to, in either case? I mean, yeah, it's, that's how I view it. Like, w like whether you're sending someone back in time or just, like, memories from, like, a supposed future, like... Either way... They're gonna use that information, like, the exact same way. Like, it doesn't matter. But, uh, arguing things that... Arguing semantics that effectively don't matter, I believe, is probably, like... What made the Nomai the Nomai. So, you know, it is what it is. That's just what they did. That's what they did the past time. What the fuck is happening? Why, why'd the island just splash like that? I don't like that. Which is fair. I mean, when you're like your highly intelligent race of people who like have nothing better to do but do science, cool science stuff. I guess that's like your main hobby. It's just it's just to talk about shit. That's like if every human on the planet was I was Albert Einstein. Alright, I'm inside the twister. I made it inside. So cool. I guess I should probably I should probably park my ship in the designated parking spot. That seems smart, doesn't it? Probably. Oh no, the sun's about to explode. No! Damn it, no! I wasn't done! No! Can I have like I need like I need like ten more minutes. Please. Don't yank me out like this. I'm I, I'm like in the matrix. Don't don't pull me out. I just need more time. It's all I always need more time. Damn it. Be welcome to this place. This tower sh this tower shares with all who ask the knowledge needed to make his or her first quantum journey. This is why the game stresses you out to play. What's the time limit? Damn it. Well, it's like normally games with time limits would stress me out too, but like you have infinite you have infinite tries, right? Enter this place without friends. However, there these are oh, these are lessons you learn yourself. Son of a bitch. I really wanted to do this too. It's so easy to get just like lost in like in like a like like a branch. I take my own life. I don't die in no stinking sun. I take it in my own hands. Yeah, but you have to spend a lot of time just getting back to where you were. Not really. I mean, if you know where you're going, I would say no. Like that's 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 why that's why this galaxy is so small, so you can get back there quickly. Like twenty two minutes. If you know where you're going, doing a lot of heavy lifting, but like it's that's that's true. Like what? How else do you want, what else do you want me to say? Like if like like for example, to get to where I just I was just I just was, I know I have to go to the giant steep, and I, know, and I know I have to go into the giant tornado. It takes like two minutes to get there. Like the loop just started, and I'm already like halfway there. 
you know? And then you can spend the rest of your time doing whatever. It's really not that hard. 22 minutes is a, little, is a lot longer than a lot of people realize, I think. Okay, coming in a little, a little spicy. A little spicy. A little spicy. Pizza, pasta, put it in a pot. All right, where's the big one? Here it is. And see, now I'm already back. Right here, I'm, I'm already back. Good save? What do you mean, good save? Good save from what? That song doesn't go any other way. <laughs> Alright, we're here. One of the quantum moon training grounds. This is integral to your knowledge. About figuring out some of the deeper mysteries of this game. Granted, the, the quantum mechanics in this game are, are pretty intuitive, so you can honestly figure out a lot of it without even, like, coming here. Like, the, uh, like, even, even the, like, rock at the museum teaches you a lot. That, that's, like, that's, like, half of what you need to know. Alright, we're back. It's that easy. We're already here. Whoa. Cool. All right, so let's read. Let's read the little uh, prompt here. Seek the wandering ark. Here it is. Easy. <gasps> but now it's gone. There it is. Hee <laughs> hee. So yeah, it's not just the rocks that could be all, uh, all schlorpified and freaky. Oh, that's a little tree. <gasps> it's a tree of quantum too. It is. Oh my! That actually scared me. Like I knew it was gonna happen, but it still scared me. It's so freaky. I love it. Observing a quantum object. Observing an image of a quantum object. They're the same. So that is teaching you that if you just take a picture of something. Whoops. Well. In theory. So take a picture. You turn around. It's still there. Because we're taking a picture. Jump scared by a rock. I mean... They're kind of, they can be kind of scary. If a, if a big rock just appeared behind you and you weren't ready for it, you'd be scared. All right, so where is the, uh, there it is. There, it's being observed. It can't go anywhere now. Aha. Gotcha. It, it scared, it got me again. Listen. Are those bots? You know what? Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go in sub only mode. Because I don't trust that. I'm sure you I'm sure you guys will understand. It just is what it is. Yep, my bot my uh my band bot is like automatically banning them. That's kind of cool. Aw. Aw. Well, you know what? If, if, the auto, if the auto banner's working as intended, I'll probably turn off sub-only mode in like five, in like ten minutes, but for now. That's just how it's got to be. The, the arc and the crystal do not naturally meet. I see. So you have to use the crystal to climb up, but the arc is not going to be where you want it to be. So we need to lock the crystal somewhere. 
and and only take and only observe that there we go but wait shit but now it's uh oh i know what to do here wait i had it Come on lock the crystal But no, I, I can't take a picture that close, though. Now it's... Oh, fuck me. It's so... It's wackadoodle bullshit. Okay, there we go. I need to get the arc over here. Oh, come on, dude. Where is it? Ah! Now I have to keep my eyes on both of them. There we go. Now I can actually climb up here safely and not get, like, debated. Nice. Hi, cutie. Back at it again. You just can't stay away from me, can you? It's okay. Even, even the rocks can't resist me. So my stunning good looks, my charm. This is the last one. But we made it harder. How do you do this? Oh, no! Wait, I'm fine. Take a picture of that one. There we go. It almost got me. Wait, it did get me. No, oh, we're fine. <laughs> we got the art to come over here. What a fun mechanic. And there's an even funner version later. Is there anything behind here? No? Hi. We offer our congratulations. You learned the rule of quantum imaging. Take this knowledge with you on, on the remainder of your quantum pilgrimage. Remember, the other quantum shards have other lessons to teach. Our curiosity goes with you on your journey. You walk in the footsteps of those who came before you, and your path guides those who will follow later. Oh, where'd he go? Uh, Rock, there you are, sexy. Ah, give it a kiss. Can I go back up this way? Let's go down this way. That's like into nothing. Ooh. Wait, what? Oh. He. That scared me a little bit there. All right, so we have we've obtained quantum knowledge. Observing a quantum object and taking a picture of it is the same thing. In their eyes. Which means... That if we can find the quantum moon... And take a picture of it, then... We can actually go there. Let's try and find it. There it is. Wait, is that the actual moon or is that the... Uh, just a crystal ha that happens to be there? I can just I can just bring my map, can I? Yeah. Where's the moon right now? Where's the moon? It's a dark bramble? It's not gonna stay there for long though. Where even is it? Hello? I'm so turned around right now. Over there. Yeah, it's not even there anymore. You son of a bitch. Where's that sne where's that stinky little moon? That's the island. Is it over here? There's no way.
I'm really close to the sun. Oh my god. I 100% deserve to die just then. Wait, yeah, this isn't this isn't the moon. That's the island. I am floating around aimlessly, which is not something you should be doing. There it is. I see it. Stop. Oh, I looked at my I looked at my fucking like landing gear and it's gone. Oh, there it is. How do I Okay, it's being observed. Right? So I can I can go into it now. Yeah, exactly. I can fly into it now. In theory. Because normally it would simply uh, disappear as soon as you tried to land on it. But now I believe I should be able to go right in. Yep, I'm in. On the quantum moon, baby. It's that easy. Bonk. Yeah, bit of, a bit of a rough landing, but... I'm here. After watching it wander the skies for so long, I'm about to stand. Okay, so we read this one already. This is, this is the one... Um, we actually don't want to mess with the controls, because if we pull it back out from the quantum moon, we can't get back here. At least not easily. This is the ship we've uh, we saw on Brittle Hollow. And there's just a uh, a dead Nomai, which is kind of sad looking. I mean, it's very sad. They they can't they probably came here thinking they accomplished like their life's work, and then promptly died because there was no food or water. Um, there's a hole in the wall? Is that normal? That's not normal. We, we don't worry about it. Unidentified signal nearby. Yeah, quantum mood. We found it, baby. Oh, I think I have to trigger the, uh, like the quantum tower, but how do you do that? I actually don't remember. Oh, just like that. Hee <laughs> hee. Again. Uh, fuck, why did I look why did I look away from it? Shouldn't I know better at this point? How long will it take for me to learn my lesson about this place? Okay. Oh, you can't even, you can't even take pictures here. That's right. It doesn't let you. It's like, no, you can't cheat now. All right, we'll turn, we'll turn sub off. So I think I'm fine. If if something happens, I can just. Um. Let me look up the command for uh the hate raid bot that I have right now, so I can actually remember what it is. So I don't know off the top of my head right now. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Commands. It is hate raid on. Okay, I need to remember that. Aww. Aww. Subscriber's off. You're free. You're free. You're free. Thank you for petting. Hate read on. I need to remember that. Bald. Is that what you're ready? Is that what you're like sitting there, like pre-typed into the chat room, ready to be freed from Silva only mode? Aww. Did you get hate rated? No, I had just a couple of sus bots that were like immediately banned, but I was still like, mm, I'm gonna delete these. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn on Silva only mode just in case. All right, so this is telling you a couple places that there are like quantum, um, like stuff at. 
So, for example, uh, there's one on Giant Steve we found. There's one um, in a place we haven't been to yet. And there's another one on the moon itself, I assume. That's what it's trying to convey. And this is telling you where the moon actually is. And so I'm going to cheat. Um, I'm going to make a, 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 a cheating... Call the roll the sixth location. Call the rule of quantum entanglement. You know, no, I'm not gonna cheat. So there are three. There are three big rules here. Currently, I, the main character, only knows this one, the rule of quantum imaging. We don't know about quantum entanglement, and we don't know about the sixth location either. I mean, you can kind of assume what it is given um, everything else, but we don't know about this one yet. So I'm not gonna break RP. The tower is gone. Gone. Where's my ship? Chat, where's my ship? There it is. Yeah, yeah, thankfully, thankfully nothing actually happened. There were just some some sussy bots that I didn't want to mess around with. Thankfully the hate raid uh ban bot that I got worked pretty much instantly. Like as soon as they followed, they were they were pretty much instantly banned. Yeah, you, I use the Seri bot. Yeah, it's pretty. It's really good actually. It seems it's it. I've never, it seems to just be working flawlessly. And it has like a, a decently low rate of false positives from what I hear. Which is a is a is an unfortunate thing to settle settle on, but you know. Twitch hasn't really done anything about it, so. Every memory recorded by a Nomai statue was transmitted to a corresponding storage unit within Ash Twin. Nomai statues were designed to pair with a single user, record their memories, and send those memories to a storage unit within the Ash Twin project. Each storage unit inside the Ash Twin project was equipped with a mask, which could then send the stored memories back to the corresponding user. The statue was designed to only activate once the Ash Twin project succeeded, or in the event that it failed. This island must be where the Nomai created statues, just like the one in our observatory. Yeah, of course. Gabro's Island. Gabro's lounging in a hammock near the island's shore. He found a Nomai statue on the other island, so his memories are, like, locked in. There's more to explore here. Wait, is there? I don't remember what else is there. Quantum Moon. I was able to land on the surface of the quantum moon. I found a dead Nomai in a spacesuit near the south the South Pole. A Nomai shrine that wanders about the quantum moon. Then all the rules. Let's see, so there's a rule of quantum imaging inscribed next to a mural of a tower on the island, the rule of quantum entanglement next to the mural of a cave. And the role of the sixth location is scribed next to a mural of a black hole. Hole! Sorry, no more hole jokes. This tower, located on Brittle Hollow's equator, held useful information for Nomai embarking on the first pilgrimage. Oh, I need to go there. I still have not been there yet. Do you think Carthians have Nomai Sonas? I sure hope so. What's the point of having, like, an ancient... An ancient civilization that you can like observe and very readily like you know see what their life was like if you're not gonna like get on like deviant art forums and like rp is them like what's the point like what what other what other purpose would there be if not if not for that all right so we're actually gonna leave but as soon as we leave, it's gone. That's so cool. Let's check out Brittle Hollow. While well, there's still time left in the loop, I guess. I haven't gone there yet. So we may as well.
them in hot. A little, a little spicy. A little spicy hot Cheeto. Oh, we're coming in way too fast, chat. Way too fast, way too fast, way too fast. I always, I still hate this place. This place is still ooky. It's ooky and ucky. It does not matter how many times I play this game. Which is to say, twice now. Brittle Hollow is still disgusting. Like, the, 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 the concept alone of, like, a place being bigger on the inside than it is on the outside, I don't like it. Like, there's something, like... There's something about how it doesn't make f sense in our brains. And that's what makes it scary. Like, I read, um... I've read House of Leaves before. That book is terrifying. For, like, uh, the most mundane reasons. Also, like, very scary reasons, but... We're going too fast. We're going too fast. Here's the seed. All right, so where? I can never remember how to get through this place. Stop, 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 stop. Can I, can I sneak it in? Hazard? What do you mean hazard? Get in there. Oh, I, I made it. Nothing but net. Dude, drained it. Error, duplicate scout signal. There's like three scout signals. That's not right. That's that's probably very, very bad. <sighs> Disgusting. Disgusting! I haven't even... Ha I, we haven't even seen the, the yuckies yet. Like the actual big anglerfish. I haven't even run on one, one of those things yet. Where are they? I'd like to see them. Wait, I made it? Wait, I made it. I, I made it. Hey, hey, felt sparring. I know you're probably like freaking out right now, but like here I am. Hey. Nice, uh, nice place you got. Give visitors often. Whoa, where'd you come from? No one's come here in well, ever actually. That makes you the second Harthian to ever reach Dark Bramble. After me, of course. Well done. Why is there an anglerfish here? Well, it's not like an anglerfish in the in the way that we know what an anglerfish is. It's more of like, uh, it's more of like a intercal uh, like. A cosmic beast that kind of just looks like an anglerfish. Say, it's you. They made you an astronaut, and you haven't blown yourself up yet. Good for you. We all thought you were dead. What, me? Killed off by thorny, extra-dimensional plants that, that entirely violate the laws of space and time? And a couple of giant predatory fish with gaping maws and enormously sharp fangs? Not this time, little buddy. Oh, the sun! No, 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 no! I set up camp here when my ship got stuck here in Dark Bramble. Been living off the land ever since. No, I'm not. Even, I shouldn't even bother. I'm not even, I can't even bother talking to this guy now. Oh no! Just when we start getting to meat, there's still time. Not enough to get through like all the conversation I want to. Well, you can you can move your helmet while you're in while you're in here. 
There's time. There's not enough time. Because I'm going to be, I'm going to be internally rushing to get through conversation. Mash. No, I don't want to mash. That's not the point. I'm not going to mash. Well, now there's no time. I didn't. I did not have enough time to get through all the conversation with Feldspar. I, I wouldn't have. You can say like, "Oh, the streamer, you had enough time," but there wasn't enough time. There's enough time if I rushed. Maybe I don't want to rush. So, Feldspar, uh, the sun's exploding and every 22 minutes, and it just exploded, so we have like five seconds left to live. Is there anything you want to tell me, real quick? No? Nothing? You got nothing? That's fine. Well, I'll see you in the next loop, bud. They're like, uh, what? What are you talking about? Hey, what's that noise, by the way? Uh, don't worry about it. I'll, I'll see you next time. Son of a bitch. It was there was not enough time there just wasn't I wish there was but there wasn't what a shame son of a biscuit why 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 don't Harthians just like do Harthians not believe in like a watch why can't I just like slap a watch on and be like oh it's this time yeah, now the probes are going towards the left now. Very cool. Alright, so we'll do like another loop or two. Both bars camp. Yeah, I see that. Thank you very much. Feldspar is alive. They crashed their ship and is now camping inside of a huge anglerfish skeleton. There's more to explore here. Obviously. So, so let's see. Let's go somewhere. You know, I can't. Let's go back. Let's go back. I'm going to conquer Dark Bramble right now. There's also, there's also this thing orbiting the sun, which technically I think you can land on, like, manually, but you'd have to be insane to try that. Is that the probe? I'm not, I'm not gonna try to catch the probe. There's literally nothing on it. Nothing worth seeing, anyway. Well, hey, 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 calm down, calm down, calm down. Too fast. Too fast. Dude, if I had a quarter for every time I overshot something in this game, I'd have like four quarters. A dollar, you could say. Alright, come on. Engage, engage, engage. Alright, we're in, baby. We're in, baby. Nothing but net coming up. I'm gonna go right in that tiny little hole. Watch this. No, abort autopilot. I don't need your help. I made it. I'm in. Okay, but I almost okay, but in my defense, I almost made it in. That was almost very cool. Damn, I could have done that for sure though. The no mind mask is like, huh? That was a That was a short one. Do you want to talk about it? Yeah, I'm just like, dude, just fucking give me my memory back, please. Almost only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. There are more things that almost counts for. Like, uh... Like, uh... I don't know. I've never, I've never played horseshoes. I've only observed people playing horseshoes. 
don't think I've ever actually played it myself. Horseshoes is one of those things your parents played, but you never played. Like, I remember, I remember experiencing that all the time growing up. Like, I would go outside, and I would sit on my back porch, and my parents would be playing horseshoes. Because we had a designated, like, horseshoe throwing area. Like, like everyone in this fucking state. But I would never really, I would never figure out how to play it myself. I am really close to the sun. Oh my god, I need to stop doing that. I'm surprised I didn't just get sucked by the, the gravitational pull there. Alright, start slowing down. Slow, slow, slow down. A another game my parents used to play all the time when I was like really little? Darts. I, don't, I only just, I only realized like, relatively recently, that darts has like a scoring mechanism that is not just like, hit the middle and get lots of points. Like when I was growing up, I thought all the funky numbers were just like, I didn't, I didn't think they really meant anything. But no, they do. I'd always thought that like bullseye meant like I don't know a hundred. <gasps> oh no! No! You can't get me. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm not out. I'm not out. No! Please, please, please! Fuck off, dude. I'm like barely orbiting your presence right now. Autopilot damage? It doesn't matter. I need a hole. <gasps> oh my god. I live. I live. Alright, stop. Go just zoom past it. I mean, hindsight's 2020, right? Autopilot's broken? I mean, I don't really need autopilot, but I'll fix it, I guess. Can you fucking stop? Miss playing darts? Were you a good dart player? I don't need autopilot. You don't in here. In the dark bramble, you don't need autopilot. Autopilot gets you killed. What do you mean? Why am I not seeing any, um... Oh, wait, hold on. I think it's because I'm, I'm in, like, the in-between right now. <gasps> that one's alive. Is my, is my radio broken? I think my radio's broken. I kind I kind of need that. Chat. I kind I kind of need that. Wait, it's not. Then why isn't it working? Oh, my ship's bouncing around, and so am I. Yeah, radio's not broken. Then why isn't it picking up? Um, we slap the button and turn it off in a panic. But how it? Why it no work? Why can't I see anything? No, don't unbuckle. I don't know how to turn it back on. Is there like a... It, it, well, I have, I have the signal scope out, right? But... 
because you venture out. No, but no, listen. The signal scope still works in Dark Bramble. That's how you track Feldspar's harmonica. That's like literally how that works. Okay, you know what? Just kill me then. I go in. And, and you die. An excruciatingly long and painful death. V word. Okay. That's like that's like V word mixed with existential dread, because when these anglerfish like eat you, they put you in like a void for like a long time. I'm pretty sure. Like wow, what if? Never mind. I'm not even make that joke. It's not even worth it. It's not even worth it. You sound so defeated. It's because I am. Look, you can't. Look, why can't you just get eight in a video game and, like, not make it weird? Okay? It's not that hard. You should be able to be eaten in a video game and, like, not have people make it weird. That's that's my stance, and I'm sticking to it. I don't think that's a lot to ask. Is it? Slow down. Okay, don't take me out of context. No! My god. This is why I should this is why I should never made a Twitch account and should have just made like a silent. God damn do you, you That's your fault. I'm blaming that on I'm blaming that on chat. That wasn't my fault. I was too busy. I was too busy. Get a quote command? Okay, I will. After the stream, I'll figure out how to do that. I don't need autopilot. Yeah, when I was inside of it. Stop taking my words out of context. And make me say things I didn't say. Yes, I said I didn't need my autopilot, but that was when I was inside. Yes, I need it when I'm going there, and I probably should have turned it on. Absolutely. You know what? No, I'm not going to get a quote bot. Because what's going to happen is that I'm going to say things like you should be able to get eaten in a video game and then people are going to take it out of context like they always do. What's the, what's the what's the point of a quote bot besides to like perpetually own me whenever I say anything like even remotely strange? I guess that is the point now that I think about it. But Okay, we're autopiloting. You happy? Autopilot is on. Oh. Just don't say anything sus. I don't say sus things. You are the one, you people are the ones who make it sussy. I don't say anything sus. Like, I talk about being eaten by a fish, because that's what happens in this video game, and you guys are like, oh, it's a vor thing. Like, no, it's not. But I, I can't, I, uh, never mind. It doesn't matter. I can't, I can't defend myself anymore. It doesn't matter. Nothing I do or say matters. People are like vultures, waiting, like like flying around my metaphorical, like rotting, like about to die corpse. Like I'm a I'm a lion about to die in like the desert. Hi. If I were a streamer, I would simply not be taken out of context. Oh yeah, I forgot. It really is just that, just that easy, huh? I should simply just not be taken out of context. Or I have to fajinko my way inside this hole. Oh, they're getting mad. I 
I hate this place. I mean, I don't hate it. I like it. <gasps> I think it's very creepy and effective. It's creepy and wet. This place is creepy and wet. Slow down. Why am I going so fast? Why am I going so fast? Stop. I'm so stupid. I'm such a little fool. Tripping? Okay. You Okay, you said that, not me. I'm not even going to say that. I'm not even going to say that. Don't be weird. That's my one warning to you. Are you allowed to be weird? Maybe not that weird. You know, you know, like my 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 one rule. You use your best judgment. I don't think you use your best judgment when you type that in my chat room. Keep making it easy. That doesn't mean you should do it. That that's not that's not an invitation for you to say weird things. Okay, we're good. Damn this this tree this 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 tree pussy the 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 trussy be hitting kind of different. Oh my god, the way like three of the harmonicas are like overlapping each other. Question mark? You ever like 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 a tree that has like the weird like knot in it? Like the tree knot? Where it, I don't know how to describe it. Look it up. They be making me act up. There he is. Shimmer, are you feeling okay? No, I'm like really going through it right now. I wish I was feeling okay. I really do. But I'm not. I'm not okay. Hit, um... Uh, hit Panic at the Disco song. I'm not okay. What the fuck? Why can't I get in this mouth? This, like, this, like, skeleton. Let me in. Hello? Feldspar, help me out here, dude. I'm struggling really hard. I can't, I can't, I can't get in. These goddamn trees. Okay, you know what? I don't have to park. Can you go through the neck? I don't, I don't have to park. I just don't want my ship to drift away. I have my suit on, right? Yes. <laughs> my ship is drifting away. Um. Yeah, I guess I, I guess I could come in from under. No. That's probably the best idea I could do right now. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Just, just jam it in there. So it can't get anywhere. I think the tentacles are so bony. Well, I think they're actually part of the skeletons. I think they are just... I don't know. I actually don't know. Yo, Feldspar! Whoa, you made it back? Yeah, I made it back. We thought you were dead. You are never the brightest hatchling, were you? Okay, come on, dude. Yeah, I'm alive. I've been camping out here since my ship, you know, crashed violently. Wait, what? Oh, this is a good story. I just finished exploring the, the core of Giant Steep and needed a new challenge. But none of us have ever been inside Dark Bramble, so I think, hey, let's give it that a try. I've been cruising around for a while, dodging the old massive interdimensional vine bristling with thorns. But I've run into this huge anglerfish. The biggest I've ever seen. Pull a few stunts, try to shake the thing off. Nothing too fancy. I'm going full speed when the fish clips me. Knocks me to a vine and... Well, like I said, crash. Blammo. On impact, my ship starts making noise. This is like it's coming apart from the inside. And I think, well, that ain't great. Surely enough, I barely get, get out of there in time before the electrical system starts sparking like crazy. It's, a, it's either move fast or die unpleasantly. So I had to put a little distance between me and my poor fried ship. I camped up near where I crashed at first. I found the skeleton later. Great find. Would've been stupid not to use it. So my setup over here and planted my emergency tree seeds. Been here ever since. 
Wow. Yeah, pretty much. That's how it went down. Story's over, but feel free to stay and enjoy the fire for a while. Or don't. The fire's not going anywhere. But how? What? How do you know that? I found something. I found a dark bramble seed on Timber Hearth. That's bad business. As Chart will tell you as much if you... As Chart will tell you if as much as glance in Dark Bramble's direction, there used to be a, a fifth planet where the bramble is now. This infernal plant appeared at the center and kept growing and growing and growing until it shattered the planet and scattered its pieces across space. So that's why you see like random ice shards on different planets. They're all from what, are you, what used to be a planet. And is now the Dark Bramble. If we don't get that seed you found it sort of real quick like, I suspect Timber Hearth, Timber Hearth will be heading towards the same fate. And I tell you what, we Hearthens have overcome far too much to be done in by some worthless seed. That's so scary. You reached the core of Giant's Deep. How'd you do it? Giant's Deep's core, huh? That was a wild one. But since you're asking, I guess you... I guess... Since you're asking, I gotta assume you haven't made it down there yourself yet, right? If I tell you how, it kind of feels like cheating. Hmm. On a completely unrelated note, that sure was a big hollow vine my ship crashed into. Yep. If I were you, I'd take a walk and see where it ends. You want to go to the tail end of this anglerfish skeleton here and look for a flickering light in the, flo in the fog. That would be my old ship. Path starts there. Shouldn't I tell ground control to come and get you? Well, yeah, sure, whenever you have the time. Frankly, I kind of like it out here. Quiet, peaceful-ish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, weirdo. Whoa, I just fucking launched off. So let's go observe whatever this flickering light is. I'm stuck. My ship's stuck. Imagine being owned by a plant. More likely than you think, apparently. Here's Feldspar's ship. Hollow. Damn, he like barreled right through it. I didn't realize it came out on both ends. Uh, so I guess we'll just go towards one of the holes. Or one, one end. What is happening? Oh, wrong side. Um, now my ship is actually stuck. Just kidding. We're out. Oh, I guess I could go on foot. I just don't remember which side it wants me to go on. Oh. Well, that answers my question. Yeah, fuck it. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. This is probably one of the coolest parts of this game. I'm not even gonna lie. Traveling through the dark bramble, a hollow vine in the dark bramble, and you end up wherever this is. Makes you think. And you see your ship is like far away, and you're like, where am I? Bring up your map. Well, so it says you're in Dark Bramble, but there's like more. There's a little more to it than that. Tip four, or trip four, entry. I'm gonna say not one. Crash is three. Boring crash is zero. Personal best. Never thought I'd see one of these beasties outside of Giant's Deep. They were awfully useful back there. Maybe a jellyfish could be useful here too. Well, this thing takes hair. He's terrible. The outside is all rubbery and tough. Maybe that's because it insulates the jellyfish inside from getting zapped by electricity. Right. I'm going inside this jellyfish, jellyfish's interior cavity to see if what's inside tastes any better. So the jellyfish give insulation. We're, we are inside. Note to Feldspar. Do not eat this even if you are dying. It would be too sad if this was the last thing you ever ate in your life. I guess these jellyfish are only useful for insulation from electricity. Again, do not eat. Do not eat. But what if we did eat it? Maybe just a little bit. Mm. 
And now we're just back out here. Oh, this is actually a big mistake. This is actually a big mistake. I didn't realize what I was doing until it was too late. I can make it back. Right? Probably. Just look at a little for the experience. Um... I don't think it's a good idea. I'm not gonna go around licking licking jellyfish. I think that's that's probably a bad idea, if I had to guess. Oh my god! This could be your one chance. Yeah, and I'm throwing it away. I know it's crazy. Wait, don't tell me you're like jumping at you're you're like you're like like jumping for joy ready to lick ready to lick the inside of a raw jellyfish. Freak. That's some real freak behavior. Are you a freak? Jellyfish noodles is a thing. Yeah, for sure, but I'm not licking the uh, I'm not licking the the interior cavity of a jellyfish. That that ain't me. I think I think I'm good. There there are other things I want to do with my my time. Like uh lick doorknobs. Tongue po okay, listen. You can't just you can't say that. What the hell is your problem? You're gross. You're gonna scare people away talking like that. I don't even know which time I have left in this loop. Probably not a lot to do anything productive. If I had to guess. Then they are weak. You know what? True. Very true. Oh, we're back. I can speed this. Neom. Not too fast, though. I said not too fast, though. Not too fast. Don't run into the tree. Oh, come on, dude. Oh, that's good. Mmm. That marshmallow barely touched by fire. How delicious. Mmm. Tastes so good. I'm like, what the... the Harthians have no taste. It's what I've learned. Still on about your charcoal briskets, huh? No! People just not eat uncooked marshmallows? I mean, yeah, but like... I'm just saying, if you're gonna roast a marshmallow, do it right. I'm offended that I held that thing like a foot above the fire for like a second. And they're like, mmm, that was pretty good. I'm like, what the are you talking about? That's not a roasted marshmallow. I would rather... Uh, in that case, I think it's better just just to eat just to eat an uncooked marshmallow. Like that that tastes that tastes better and is a more satisfying experience. Heat rises. Not, that's not the point I'm trying to make here. Never mind. Just never mind. Why is it so? Why wait? Yeah. Why is it so bony? What evolutionary, like, purpose does it serve for your tentacles to be so bony? Okay. Like, what's what's the point, I guess? Oh, doesn't that hurt me? No? That's where fish fingers come from. Hmm. My scout is in like five different places at once. I'm sure that's fine. Wait, did my... Did my scout just loop by me and I not even notice it? Hold on, bring that back. 
I just heard the whizzing of it like it going by me. Dude, I'm like so lost in the sauce right now. Where am I? It did! That's so cool. Watch this. Oh my god, you even see it coming out. Coming out. Wow. That is just neat. Dude, I want to crawl inside this thing. I want to I want to like trap I want to like interdimensionally travel through like vines. Ow. Yeah, what a shot, right? One of the many strange phenomenon in the outer wilds. Imagine if it hit your ship and the whole thing just detonated. Like like a comical explosion. Like after a good like two seconds of pause. That'd be pretty funny. That would be pretty funy. Postbar's camp. Postbar doesn't sound overly eager to return to civilization. They've been enjoying the relative peace and quiet. Postbar documented their attempts to eat the enormous jellyfish frozen in the ice. The outside was all rubbery and tough, possibly because it insulates the jellyfish's insides from getting zapped by electricity. They decided to venture in into the jellyfish's interior cavity to see if it tasted any tasted any better. After tasting the inside of the jellyfish, Feldspar concluded that these jellyfish are only useful for insulation from electricity. Fair enough. Fair enough. Aya. All right, well, after, after this loop happens, I think I'm going to call it there, because I need to eat. Hey, Feldspar. How are you playing harmonica through that thing? Through that, like, aviator helmet? How does that, how does that work? Well, the skeleton was like this when I got here. As near as I can tell, this anglerfish must have been chewing on the vine and eating a seed. Aw. And eating a seed, and the seed grew and grew into the four fish's stomach until this happened. Gross, huh? The light keeps the fish away, so they see they're the territorial. I see. So I wonder, I think this is actually explained, but I must have forgotten. I guess. I, I wonder. I wonder what kind of planet the other the this place was before Dark Bramble. I mean, it had ice, of course, but I wonder if it was like in a, another aquatic planet. Well, I guess it doesn't have to be because these things can kind of float through space how they want. Uh, I'm just trying to think of a planet that could have housed like big anglerfish like this, because these anglerfish are not a Dark Bramble thing. They seem they seem to be native to whatever was here before that seed popped, I guess. I don't know. I don't know actually. It's it's like a chicken the chicken before the egg thing. I just don't know. I don't know if there's a way to know. Can't I just Yeah, giant deep sea planet. Yeah, maybe something else like giant steep or something. Like the planet literally called Giant Steep. I'm trying to kill myself on the stupid seed and it won't let me. Like, please. Just just jam myself right onto the spike. Okay, it is impossible to jam myself on a spike. You know, it's fine. I didn't wanna I don't wanna puncture myself anyway. I'd rather die to like instantaneous heat death from the sun exploding. Oh now you puncture, okay. Traumatizing Felspar before you go. Uh, Felspar's fine. They're not even looking at me. 
they're so like into their uh, never-ending harmonica playing. Aren't you, Feldspar? You didn't see a single thing I did, did you? <laughs> Isn't that right, Feldspar? Oh, now I died. Oh, I don't know what the DLC is going to be like at all. I just don't know. Oh, I'm so tired. I'm gonna have to rewatch the trailer. Cause I really just don't, I really have no clue. I have no idea what the DLC could even be about. I don't even know its name. Do you taste, do you taste metal? Do you, do you like, do you like hear a weird ringing in your ears? Do you, do you smell smoke, Feldspar? Or is that just me? Oh, it's just me? Oh. Um, haha, <laughs> it's fine, I'm sure, right? You would not believe this, I'm stuck in an endless time loop and the, the sun's gonna explode in 22 minutes. Yeah, sure, bud, whatever you say. Oh, there's a moon. Very cool. Alright, yeah, I think I'll, I think I'll call it there, because I need to figure out dinner. I think I'm just gonna eat leftovers, so like burritos. Leftover leftover burrito. Not as in like a burrito that is just a leftover. Like I made fillings for burritos last night and I should probably finish it up. So, um that's gonna be it for the day. My butt also hurts. Ugh. I kinda have a headache too. I'm dying. I'm fucking dying. Everything's wrong with me. I can't take it anymore. I I need to get out of this mortal coil. I probably should I, I probably should drink more water. Also hot in my room. I don't know why I'm so like hot and sweaty, despite it being like like sixty degrees outside. I can't take it. Blah. It's cause so it's cause my it's cause of this ding dang computer. It gets so stuffy in my room. It gets so stuffy wuffy. Burritovers. I see what you did there. Very funny. Very funny. So who should we raid? Who's online? Shimmer's creepy and wet. No, I'm not. I'm not creepy or wet. I'm neither of those things. No creepy or wet. Come on now. Um, let's see. Let's raid. We'll raid Tone Deaf. They're playing. They're just playing Mario. Charming and damp. Yeah, there you go. Uh, 